Yeehaw! Come on now. It's the red wave, boys. Ooh wee! We gonna get Ron DeSantis gonna be our next president. Bro. Hell yeah! Hell yeah, brother! Hell, Hell yeah, yeah, brother! I got, I got me this oversized MAGA hat, but I'll tell you what, man, that Donald Trump is an albatross. I seen that comment. Yeah. On conservative subreddit, Donald yeah. Trump is an albatross around Ladies our neck. And gentlemen, we are all domestic terrorists. That Donald Trump, that boy ain't right. That boy ain't right. I tell you what, man. I've been saying that the whole time. Now they're doing like that. Ethan, you might not know this because you know you don't have a Twitter, but um, the Republicans lost actually, like big time. Oh shit! Right. Yeah, not the. Yeah, and actually, not uh, to hurt your feelings, but I am allowed to lurk Twitter still. Oh, okay, that's good. My account is read only. And where's Dan? You look like, you look like my five month old when he wears a hat. Can't. <laughs> Is the camera on me? I can't see anything. Uh, by the way, thank you to our sponsor today, DoorDash. We love you. We love you. Also, an announcement. Quickly, the Teddy Fresh Black Friday sale is live starting. It just started 15 minutes ago. Damn. 70% off a lot of shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Very it's nice. like 50 to 70% off most fucking things, you guys. It's absolutely it's crazy. mind bending. Mind bending. That's stuff. crazy. Yeah, yeah, it is. Wow. And by the way, also this shirt's not on sale, but you have till Sunday to buy it. Elon Musk is a piece of shit. I love that one. Thanks, bro. And then actually, finally, we get to uh, plug uh, Hassan stuff. I do. Yeah, I have some. I normally don't, but this is not one of those instances. Ideology shop. Robert Smith. Why the fuck did that just come out of my computer? I don't know. What? Just click uh, of the cure on that link. I put, Robert I, Smith of the Cure fame. Yeah, I hit Love paste him. and it was Robert Smith. How is that? What does that even mean? How did that happen? You're a big Cure fan, man. <laughs> okay, let's try again. <laughs> there you go. You did it. Yeah. <laughs> was one of you guys using this computer looking up Cure fandom? I don't even know what the Cure is. What the hell? What? Yes. So, uh, ideology dot shop. Hassan's himbo. I'm still waiting for my himbo shit, bro. Did I send, didn't I send you a link? Yeah, I filled out the questionnaire. I didn't get my shit, bro. What the fuck? I'll yell at my merch people. Is your head gonna shrink if you wear this? No, but your fucking <laughs> gains will be tremendous. Okay, okay. You're gonna you, at least at least like 25% increase on your PR. Straight up. Okay. okay Don't so. believe Hassan, Ethan. I, I got some merch and this is actually a regular size hat. <laughs> oh no, his head drunk. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. You guys, your your people make the coolest fucking. Yeah, shit. that's awesome. They, that that is a really cool gift. Yeah, that so. has no business being that cool. Honestly, it's I don't really even dope. I don't even know where the fuck that came from. Yeah, but anyway, uh, uh, ideology dot shop and uh, uh, Hassan's himbo gym. Well, we got a lot to talk about today. Oh man, wait, what happened? The, well, uh, something you, big happened. Yes. Uh, um, mm. I got banned on Twitter. Yeah, that's what we're going to talk about, right? Because I, I haven't been paying a lot of attention to anything else that's going on, mm -hmm. except for the big news that I guess, uh, well, I, I, are you banned off Twitter? Because I remember seeing you tweet something about leftovers, like yesterday. No, I'm banned. No, no, I think you definitely tweeted something. Yeah, I saw. I thought you got you, unbanned You had too. an announcement. I thought you got unbanned and you had an announcement. That we were gonna oh, do. Oh yeah, you're talking about my alt. Uh, oh, that's your alt. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's crazy. Ethan H three H three Productatons. <laughs> I love that Elon Musk is like, we need, we have to prevent imposters, impersonations, <laughs> and now it's like, and he clapped your ass cheeks into yeah. smithereens, yeah, and did. now everyone is parodying you. Yeah, I know. Well, this this guy's actually a fan. We know him. I am unfortunately announcing leftovers is officially ending with peace and love, Hassan. It was a great run, brother. People actually thought it was real. A little yeah, bit people fun. immediately did the thing, like <laughs> when Dan was leaving uh, the Asia Issue Productions, immediately coming into my chat and being like, dude, what the fuck? Yeah. Leftovers is over? What the fuck happened? I'm like, what? What is happening? No, it was just Producatons. Produc Producatons got us again. Yeah, just Producatons. Hey, but, like, I would be curious to see if Elon, like, bans this account. 
because he's not disclosing it properly, right, Dan? The the disclosure Nazi over here, it Dan. It, where where <laughs> is the disclosure supposed to be? Because I remember you disclosed it. I disclosed it in the header. In your name. And in the info. It was not in my name. It wasn't. Oh, that's where you're supposed to disclose it as a parody? No, well, yes. he, you need to disclose it in every fucking place you can possibly write. Yeah. <laughs> Elon Musk is like, if you impersonate me, you have to literally write like this legal text document uh, ahead of time on on every facet. Like, uh, this is uh, impersonation, not liable to uh, slander and libel laws. Just parody. I'm Elon Musk. Yeah, but um, except for that, it, but it seems that he's only going after accounts that uh, targeting him, which is interesting. But we're not here to talk about that. I've done enough talking about that. Um, I am here to talk about, actually, I'm here to talk about this. What? I forgot, I prepared a segment about it. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so ever since, he's such a fucking idiot, bro. Um, Who, Elon? Yeah. He goes, I'm, we have to add verification for everybody to stop spam? Disgusting. Yeah, that was bullshit. He just basically, look, he just wants to make more money, but he's a fucking idiot. And he's not doing the smart thing to make more money. This is like really short-term gains. Twitter makes money off of daily active users and the data that they sell off of daily active users to advertisers. Mm -hmm. If your platform's moderation tools are in a state of disarray, advertisers are not going to go to the new fronts and upfronts and immediately sign off to millions and millions of dollars in revenue to Twitter. So he already is cooked on that front because he shook things up. Like, I don't give a fuck if you you know, eviscerate the board of executives, right? But, like, when you start firing engineers, when you start firing people that are doing the content moderation and whatnot, advertisers are going to be like, well, that's crazy. Especially when you're promoting conspiracy theories simultaneously yeah. while doing all this stuff. So he's he's trying to make, like, he's trying to max out on the, on the short-term side. And uh, he thinks people will pay for this blue check mark. Nobody's buying this back from him. Twitter is like a hot potato, bro. Nobody's buying this shit back. Yeah. But um Rudy so here here's some of the great examples that have been happening in the past 24 hours. A fake Rudy Giuliani account and what's great is they'll make a new account. And uh, Nancy Pelosi and I do not agree on many things, but them things thing and I tell you what. That's the most truthful Rudy Giuliani has ever been. He's preaching, man. I stand with Kyrie I uh I Iving and Kanye West because George Soros once pushed me down in the street and I was stuck on my <laughs> back like a turtle. <laughs> That's crazy that that actually happened. This is a verified account. I have no way of understanding. Dude, it's I, I, so this seems awesome, like Rudy bro. Giuliani. And look, it, I mean, it's similar uh, to his real name. Yeah. Uh, I am hereby issuing a challenge to Alan Dirsch. Street beefs, come get some dirt. There can only be one dusty old pedophile attorney around these That's parts. crazy. Um, um, this, congratulations on Rudy for openly admitting that, though. That's, yeah. that's bold and brave. It's nice to see that out yeah. in the open. Uh, he's going after Helen Keller, who I would admit deserves Kinda it. Up. Helen Keller's a dusty, fraudulent bitch pushed on us by globalist media. <laughs> <sighs> I couldn't agree more, frankly. Wow, you're, you're anti. You're anti. She Helen has it Keller. coming. I mean, well, who cares? You can't talk. We had a whole. No, she we had a, a whole socialist. arc about this. Yeah. How do you know? What do you mean? What? It's like documented. She couldn't talk and she couldn't see, bro. She was a socialist. But how do we even know she understood what well, the things wrote, that was going around you, her? You can communicate it, it, even if you can't. Like, you wasn't know. she? Wasn't she born deaf and blind? Or is that she She became deaf and blind? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I just know that she's a socialist. And I think she was, She might have been a eugenicist too, though. So, yeah, canceled again. Never mind. But, Boom. You know, it's like with Kellen Keller, it's like, you know how with gorillas, you're like, they. you could teach them sign. And you're like, but do they really know what they're doing? It's the same with Helen Keller. absolutely eviscerated by the disability activists yeah. for stating this. Oh, we've been down this road many times yeah. before, actually. You, what, you have an anti Helen Keller crusade? It's like so such a weird bone to pick. <laughs> it, that's, why, that's why it's so funny. Yeah. But you know what? How many people are deaf and blind watching this show? Like, that's like Helen Keller only. It doesn't only, mean anything. It, oh, they wouldn't know. They wouldn't know. They wouldn't be able to watch this show. I know, but 90% of the time when people are chirping at you, they don't even have that disability. It's just like other people being like, hmm, I'm going to be talking on behalf of this community right now. Say what you will, but I'm against Helen Keller, and I always will be. It's good. It's good that you 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 know you pick your battles. I stand. What's that? Mother Teresa. 
Yeah, Mother Teresa. She has it coming, too. Actually, it turns out she is actually a really awful person. There's, like, yeah. new... You heard about this, right? No. She, like, tortured... She she was, like, a horrible person, people are discovering. Not surprising. Like, uh, she was taking care of, uh, like, lepers and shit, or, was she, or, like, super sick people, and she wasn't giving them medicine or treating them because she's like, you, your suffering will bring you closer to God. You are definitely getting canceled now. You attacked an Albanian woman. It's over. Oh, and Balea, and Baleophobia? It's over. <laughs> um, yeah, so there's just, just a lot of this, and then you see, uh, I love this, he says, what did you think was going to happen? Ben Shapiro, Matt Walsh won't stop calling me and talking about genitalia. But that's real, though, but that, like, that's like a fake account, but that is a real thing that happens all the time. Yeah. Matt Walsh cannot shut the fuck up. He's <laughs> always like, what is a woman? Please tell me. I need to know. Do you uh, have a pussy or a dick, please? I need please. to look. I need to look. Let me take I don't a peek. trust you. Let me take a gander. Like, that's that's Matt Walsh. That's straight up how he is. Dude, Matt Walsh is the worst person in the world. And I, he was on Joe Rogan, you know. Joe Rogan did get him pretty good. But, um... I have not seen it yet. He, he got... Actually, pull up a clip. Joe, Joe definitely eviscerated him on a couple of points. But ultimately, I think that's an L, having that fucking guy Yeah, on. because he's like, dude, I love what you have to say about trans people. It's so sick. <laughs> All my friends are like, damn, dude, what is a woman for real? Dude, what's a woman, bro? Like, uh, he, yeah, he no, shit on him for, like, gay marriage, right? Like, that's it. Gay marriage. Well, also, that, which he definitely annihilated him on, but that's, like, so easy. But the one that um, I saw was Matt Walsh was like, there's millions of prepubescent children getting puberty blockers. And Joe's like, <laughs> really? <laughs> Dude, really? What the fuck? And then Jamie's like, actually, it's a thousand. It was very, it was very. I, I, Wait, what okay, the fuck? I'll just say this. Minutes? I'll just say this. More? I talked about this before on my stream, but I'm, I'm going to, I'm, I'm publicly, I'm soft launching it, but I'm hard launching it eventually. I think people who say like being trans is a mental illness have an unironic, undiagnosed mental illness called what I call turf brain. Mm. Like when you got trans on the mind, and it gets to a certain point where, like, it literally, you just live and breathe trans. Like, you mm. are thinking about trans people and what they're fucking doing way more than trans people are. Yeah, yeah. So I think that that is the real mental illness. You know, that's is a good point. Matt Walsh, it's like his whole shtick. Yeah. He's, like, obsessed with he, trans like, people. He, wants to fucking bomb children's hospitals <laughs> because and, he's like, there's trans people there. And the thing is, well, here. here they don't uh, want. So. Uh, if a trans person stubs their fucking toe. And and they get medical treatment. Matt Walsh is gonna fucking hear about it, and he's gonna talk about it on a stream. Okay, he's gonna direct his his psychotic zealots to go and and you know send mail bombs there or some shit for the crime of treating a trans person. And that's insane. Like you, yo, it, it, this is gonna tie back into the election a little bit. And I'm gonna. I, I, this is one of my favorite subjects to talk about now. Is that like they went too far. Okay, the pubs. You're, you're crazy. Yeah, you're you're too crazy. Yeah, nobody I wants to associate. With like that level of crazy, it's actually so refreshing because because you know I was feeling very bleak, very black filled yeah. because you see people like Marjorie Taylor Greene who was reelected, Lowen Boebert who stand. We'll see if she's wins or not, but it's so fucking close. They're gonna recount it, and a lot of these other super radical MAGA election denying freaks are getting annihilated, and I think Trump really has become. A bad omen for them. Um, I think they went too far, but it's not Donald Trump, as I always say. It's just the Republican Party. We can talk about it further. Let's watch this real quick. Um, let's watch this fucking psychopath. For Depends a on what. Yeah, Matt Matt Walsh is a, is an actual like hateful, bigoted, psychopathic freak. Yeah, he's just like he just and looks like such a him. sweaty pervert. Too. He he's so disgusting. He looks like when I wear these glasses, he looks like me if I got bludgeoned in the face with a shovel and like lost my hairline completely. Well, you know what they say. I'm, I've been absorbing his hairline for years. So. Yeah, you absorb all Fuck of it. our enemies' <laughs> hairlines. <laughs> and I took a little of yours, too. Yeah, that's kind of fucked Just up. Just collateral damage. Please, let me get it back, please. Friendly fire. I don't think we have exact numbers, but it's if we're talking about... You destroyed drugs, Joe. I mean, I mean, oh, oh, Joe is annihilated, yeah, bro. You fucking, I you ended his him. soul like a goddamn... Yeah. That uh, Mortal Kombat uh, boss. Shao Kahn? Yeah, Shao Kahn. Thank you, A.B. Thank you. Um... Are you talking about hormone blockers? Yeah. Millions blockers of kids have been on hormone blockers, really? Uh, I, I'm sure someone's going to fact check me on that, but my, my, my guess is that we're, in, we're into the millions now at this point. Yeah. By the way, this clip starts, like he had 
already confidently asserted there's millions of kids on on puberty blockers. And remember, now he the, seems a little unsure. Just he's to, the yeah. foremost authority. Yeah, the, okay? He made the documentary. What is a woman? This guy lives and breathes for this shit. Surprising that, uh, you know, Mr. I know everything about trans people. I have the directory. I have the documents uh, is, is just so oblivious. 100% he watches trans porn. Oh, so, without a doubt. For research. So many, so many of these people are chasers. So many of these people fetishize trans people. And I think like that's where part of that hatred comes from is literally like them not being comfortable with that. Uh, yeah. Within themselves, which is weird. because so like You'd fault. be like a better person if you just gave up. But he goes, it's their fault that I'm feeling this confused. They shouldn't exist. Anyway. My guess. Um, uh, I, I can say for double mastectomies, the most re I read a report recently that no, you um, didn't. there were over 1,000 done between 2016 and 2019. Okay, he's actually being truthful in that one. 2016 to 2019, three years, there was 1,000 double mastectomies in a country of over 300 million people. That's crazy. They should stop that. Well, what's that as it expressed yeah. as a percentage? Like point zero zero zero. Like, how fucking minuscule is that? It's fucked up. Also, infinitely higher uh, success rate as far as, like, happiness in the aftermath of uh, a, a, a gender affirming surgery in comparison to plastic surgery in general, which Matt Walsh does not give a shit about. You know, no, these no. motherfuckers don't care uh, when, when you know, their wives are getting uh, bigger boobs or when uh, Ron DeSantis gets, uh, gets liposuction on his neck. Did you see Did that? Did he do that? Uh, there was some, there was, I saw some TikTok about it and I want to believe it. That's I know, awesome. I know my rule of thumb is like never that. believe anything on TikTok. Was it but a plastic surgeon? Like one of those people? No, it was oh, yeah. some, I don't know. I mean, maybe he, he looked like the dude who was talking was like, he looked like Giga Chad a little bit. So I was like, I, that made it Probably, more suspicious yeah. <laughs> for me. But anyway, let's just, let's work through this. We got so much to get to. Matt, just fucking say your shit and let's move the fuck on, you freak ass I can't, bitch. I can't tell if you're talking to Matt or me right now. No, I'm talking, to Matt, I'm talking to Matt. <laughs> Matt. Love you. And when you compare that to how many were done between, you know, 2008 and 2015, it's just a, it's a massive increase. And uh, it's so I'm sorry, but it's like, yeah, bro, it's becoming more accepted. Stop. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, the same thing well, happened I mean, with that's, being the, gay. that's the whole that's a whole shtick. So stupid. You that's know the that, though. You're so an yeah. idiot. That's why he's relevant. Like that. That's the whole shtick is that he wants to stop it being normalized. Stop it. We need to flatten the curve again. Actually, he wants to go back to reducing the amount of gay people. Anyway, so. a th over a thousand girls had double mast gender, gender affirming double mastectomies in that in that time frame. And when and you but say that's, girls, that's, you're talking about prepubescent, right? Minors, mm -hmm. uh, and that's just up until 2019. And then we know that uh, there's been this exponential increase with all this stuff year over year. So um, it's just imagine dedicating your whole life to something that happened a thousand times over three years. Well, I mean, it, it's it's the same old. Shtick, like even the Utah governor was like, "Come on, guys, like we need to." Remember when the Utah, the governor of Utah was like, "I'm not passing this fucking bill." There's mm -hmm. one. There was in the history of Utah, there was one trans 12 year old who attended a fucking swim meet, and you guys passed through the state legislature a bill banning trans people. Like, the fuck are you doing? No, it's and and that's that. usually what it is. That's usually what it is. It's literally like. Good. Maybe one trans girl that is like attended a swim meet in 1997, and these guys are like, "Yeah, we gotta, we gotta make sure they're all dead." Yo, this guy's based, bro. That's no, he's not. Come on. No, but like, this come is on. kind of dope no, that he not. stood up to this, bro. I mean, it's I mean, nice that I he did that. that. But like, don't, don't, come on, bro. He's the Utah governor. This was like, a based yeah. move on his part. I like, actually, you're, you're I, out here fucking. I really <laughs> appreciate when I see people. Oh, you found it. Abe Gurko won't be silent. Look, the, look at the TikTok on Discord. Wait, hold this on. Let's guy. finish this vid. I can't. There's too yeah. much jumping around. With. <laughs> it's a lot. It's too many. You know, one having this happen to one kid. Too, too many. Just it's one. Is, uh, yeah. Uh, look, if you're an just adult, one makes what I'm that, doing worthwhile. You understand who you are and what you are, and this is how you feel. You should progress. You're an adult. This is a free country. You should be able to do whatever you want. But when you're talking, what if you're a six year old and you're suicidal? And that's the only way to, By the way, to prevent you. I from. mean, they, they, 
These guys are so funny because, like, they make it seem like there's some titty doctor out there who's like, oh, yeah, 16-year-old, come in, chop, chop. Like, the sick, the, the no. titty butcher. Yeah, there's, like, first of all, there's a tremendous amount of paperwork that you go through. Yeah. There's, like, medical evaluations, psych evaluations yes. for adults. That is, like, doubled, tripled, quadrupled when it comes down to uh, minors. It's not allowed in minors, consent. except in, like, the most extreme. Yeah, there's parental Almost consent, there's, like, yeah. multiple avenues that you need to go down, <laughs> and there's no no bottom surgery whatsoever, only top, uh, and, and even then, it's, like, super, super low numbers, and you can't do it for anyone under uh, the age of 16 anyway. It's, like, 16 to 18 is what they are freaking out about. I think there's more people getting struck by lightning than who are getting double mastectomies. Probably. Under 18. Yeah, because, like, the number of trans like how people... how many people are getting struck by lightning in America on a yearly basis? Genuinely. I, the, the number of trans people is already low, right? I mean, like it's, it's probably higher than we think because, you know, because of shitheads like Matt Walsh. But, um, you know, this is a... This is, oh, wait, this that's is a... never going to be, like, this major mainstream thing like you're just hyper focusing on some of the most marginalized people in society because you're a fucking making freak. their life like way you're harder, a freak right? loser yeah check this out so in 2021 there was basically 80 uh, lightning strikes uh, recorded so i mean i mean we're talking about 300 a year of uh double mastectomy so it's pretty close it's pretty close i think we need to work we need to do something about all these lightning strikes bro no, we need to, we need to, yeah, we need to work on the lightning. I, I want to intervene on that shit. Lightning needs to start striking twice, motherfucker. What is this? Only, only 70, 80? I, Get those numbers up, lightning. I propose that we need to, uh, we need to, uh, install metal poles every 100 yards across the whole country. <sighs> ah, come on, bro. You, oh, <laughs> Jump scare warning. Jesus Christ. All right, we're almost Christ. made it through one fucking clip. Oh, I'm not doing that to God. children. The fact that so many people are on board <laughs> and so many people are angry. If you have, like, people are going to be angry at us that we're having these conversations. Yeah. But will. don't you, and, and but also, you, you fuck, you know that's not, that you're having the conversation. That's not why people are mad, you fuck, you idiot. Yeah, the conversation revolves around the doxing of trans individuals and also, uh, you know, lying, instructions, on, lying. instructions on how to send a letter bomb to children's hospitals in Boston. You know, that's just a conversation. Yeah, they don't do that, but yeah. You know. I mean, it's like having Hitler on being like, or even Kanye West at this point, and being like, yeah, that's interesting what you're saying about the Jews. Let me see that red list again. Now They're going to get angry that we're even discussing this. I, I actually think that, uh, now that, what? that this, shouldn't, this shouldn't be happening to... Here, here it is, here it is. It doesn't go sideways for him. It's a very small number, if that's right. It I'm says, over the last five years, there were at least 4,780 adolescents who started puberty blockers and had a prior gender dysphoria diagnosis. Wait, that's kind of but that's gender block. No, 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 that's puberty blockers. He said there was millions. That's of not year. even fucking uh, mastectomies. No, double mastectomies. He said there's millions yeah. of people. So, so here. Yeah, that's yeah. bullshit. That's that would be a big less undercounting. Less than a thousand people a year. Yeah. We got them. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I would guess you know hundreds of thousands at this, but I could be wrong. You no. could be wrong. You're the expert, bro. What is it? Yeah, <laughs> it sounds great. <laughs> Motherfucker should have asked, what is Google, yeah. bro? What is um, this? You know what? Joe Rogan's a little fucking bitch for not, like, making that a bigger deal, right? Like, he let him off look, the look hook at his face. so No, 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 easy. he likes it, though. He li He's like, yeah, I, I got know, you. I know, but he yeah, let I him got off. You. But, like, the obvious follow-up is, like, you are the expert. You made a documentary. How do you not know that it... Depends that, on what. Yeah, you know which I mean? he hyped, by the way. He was like, all of my friends love this documentary. They're he always did. asking, Fuck. what is a he, woman? <laughs> see, it's yeah. like, you're a bitch, dude. You're a bitch, okay? You are... It's just a self-report when you're like, all of my friends are like, what is a woman? Guess what, motherfucker? If all of your friends are asking, what is a woman? Then you're probably going to be one of those people that thinks there's going to be a major fucking red wave, okay? Even that's red the, wave is coming. That's the reason why he was like, oh, the red wave is coming. It's going to be like The Shining. Why? Because these guys have lost their minds. They're like, everyone's a gender sicko. You know, kids are fucking shitting and pissing in litter boxes. Yeah. At a certain point, at a certain point, when your brain is so <laughs> fucking broken by, like, watching Matt Walsh and, like, watching all these fucking conservative freaks that... You know, the the Norman adults in the suburbs and shit who are probably way more open minded to uh, LGBT stuff, mm. uh, given their proximity. You know what I mean? Because like there's always going to be within the Gen Z, uh, within the next generation, there's like there's gay kids, there's trans kids. You know what I mean? They're like a lot more open. 
to that sort of thing. So you're always going to have at least like one parent at the parent teachers conference who's like, no, my kid is gay or my kid is trans. Like, shut the fuck up. That uh, makes them infinitely more open minded and not as hostile towards uh, uh, trans things as as uh, these guys are. So that's one element of it. And then the other side is like, you're constantly saying like, these guys are pedophiles, pedophile groomers, pedophile groomers. Like, well, y you run into the, uh, the, the anti-pedophile, uh, like the, the pedo hunters. You yeah. run into the pedo yeah. hunters uh, dynamic there where like, they're kind of weird too. Mm -hmm. You know yeah, what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. talking about? The guy who busted EDP is like a fucking super weirdo. Yeah, it's like, yo, you, you're like really fucking really invested in this like yeah. it's kind of weird like you're yeah. constantly talking about pedophiles and shit like nobody wants to be around them. i live and breathe pedophilia yeah nobody wants to be around someone who is like insanely cringe lost the plot sounds like the crazy person at the fucking subway station regularly uh chirping about like trans people or or how like all the teachers are fucking pedophile groomers you know, you know what? what if if you don't know what a woman is, just say the only correct answer. Just say, "Hey, I just got here." You see yeah. that? Yeah, that clip. Exactly. My fave. Anyway, let's watch uh, something important to talk about. His son. Uh, did Ron DeSantis get neck fupa reduction? Want to tell me that Rhonda Santis didn't have lipo before her big performance last night? <laughs> that was a couple weeks ago. That was last night. She Wait. got that next. I mean, I mean, okay. Uh, that could just be a flatter, unflattering, but yeah. I mean, there's, that's a, that's a I big just want to believe, man. It's fun. It's fun to fucking believe in fake shit. Would that I be considered that. gender? I guess it's not gender affirming. It's just... No, it is. It is gender affirming. Defined jawline? Well, Absolutely. Oh, it is. It's a masculine right. thing. Elon right. Musk getting hairline surgery? That's gender affirming. 100%. Joe Rogan being on TRT. It's literally hormone replacement therapy. <laughs> Like, that is the most mind-boggling thing. Is like, I learned about TRT from Joe Rogan. I'm an old Joe Rogan head. I even have the fucking mug. I've been listening to this dude talk about divorce court for, like, fucking 15 years now. Okay? It's not fair, right? Yeah. yeah. He is the biggest advocate for TRT. He got me invested in potentially getting on TRT when I'm, like, 35 and my T-levels start declining. Mm -hmm. Right? And this motherfucker has made the tail end of his career shitting on other people that want to get trt or hrt in general like that's crazy yeah yeah he doesn't see it um so there's one more thing before obviously we're going to talk about the midterms that's the main thrust of the episode here and there's lots of good stuff to get to maybe we should just get to it because we're going to run yeah, out of time the, see if this nick last adams guy, I mean, he's is a so troll funny. but like is he a troll i wasn't i mean he's no serious? he's a fucking idiot let like, me just open this one video let's just because this no. guy apparently he's a serious person we're never getting to the fucking midterm, he's a, <laughs> this guy nick adams he's a serious person and I asked you, Dan, like 20, I was like, this is not a joke. This is real. Is this real, Hassan, or is he kidding? I, I, I can't tell because he's so <clears throat> brain broken, man. I yeah. mean, it can go either way, you know what I mean? I feel like he leans into it a little bit, though. This guy, he's a, a conservative commentary guy. And uh, he's obsessed with Hooters. Uh, really obsessed. Oh, he's obsessed with a lot of shit. He's, he... <laughs> He's PFD commenta uh, commenter's favorite character on Twitter, too. Well, he, he's yeah. got an important message with peace and love. Breasts. G'day, guys. Nick Adams here. <laughs> a word about Hooters. <laughs> Hooters is a wonderful family establishment. And I, for one, am absolutely sick and tired of it being defamed, Wait, derided. stop. No, no, no. He does, this is Don't fake. you defame. The accent is fake, right? No, he's Aussie. Oh, he's an Aussie. What? Yeah, he's an yeah. Aussie. This entire time he was Australian? Yeah. yeah. No, motherfucker America, has basically. USA on his name. <laughs> yep. Bro, well, he, I never listened to him he, talk. I've only yeah. read his tweets. And every time I read his tweets, I'm doing like, in my head, I'm assuming he's like a, one of those like sausage men. You know what I mean? He just sounds so like Midwestern or some shit. Right. No, but he's an Aussie. He's a good, he's all down under. Down under, we like respect titties. He looks so, he looks, oh, he's one of those guys. He's like a, a marabou, kind of like Ian yeah. Miles wrong. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, bro, you're in Malaysia. You're like, shut the fuck up. Talk about Malaysian news. He's the worst. Traduced and mocked used as a tool to stop men being men, used as a tool 
to stop there being Bro, he's going to break me when I find out he's got some Turk in him or something because he looks kind of Turkish too. There's, There's a lot of Turks in Australia. This attack on Hooters will not stand. Oh my god. It's an attack on masculine. I've never thought about Hooters for the record, bro. Like, I don't think about Hooters. If you take your kids to Hooters, it's a little fucking weird, though, bro. I'm just gonna be screaming. I mean, I. I'm not running to Hooters. So I'm like, I loved it when I was a kid. I'll be honest. Did you go to Hooters? It's fucking Who took fire. You there? Ditch. I'm not gonna reveal any names. Chank. I'm not gonna reveal any names. Get dressed to Hooters. But it was sick. I mean, okay. It was dope. I was like 14. Not... It was fire. Okay, all right. I'm not I'm killed, man. I'm happy for you. Breasts. <laughs> Hooters. Like, I wouldn't make it a policy, pink. though. I'm not like, you have to take your children there or, you, you know, whatever. It's not that bad, even. Like, it's not... They just wear, like, tight shirts. Yeah. It's not even... It's real... Yeah. It's not revealing at all. No, it's... I guess they just hire well, and they're, and waitresses. They, they're shorts, too. Yeah, I mean, it's just a the normal restaurant with skimpy Listen, uniforms, In basically. the age of OnlyFans, like, it, the Hooters is not even a question. Like, yeah. no one... <laughs> No one is thinking like, oh man, I'm gonna get my rocks off at Hooters. Like, I used to jerk off analog. You know what I mean? I needed a yeah. fucking magazine. Yeah. Like, I'm old. Bro, I'm Back older then, than you. Hooters titties was like all you got. Dude, we used to get, we used to have to go get like the 25 cent we're so nudie old. mag. Bro, we're and so you know, old. And you know, what we really had to do, we heard there was a nudie mag in the fucking river bottom. And we oh, had to go hike around and dude, find it. Yes! And we did find it. Yes, dude. That's like levels of horny that you can't imagine. By the way, we sound so over like, so I good. used to walk up, I, up the I hill did. both sides for three miles to find a titty pick. I did, bro. Oh my God. That's crazy. Kids <laughs> these days don't know. They don't know. I drew my own titties. To jerk off to. See that I never. That's I, like that's depraved, pretty depraved. Okay. That is. I had depraved. to draw my own hentai. Are you, are you a good artist? Because I never yeah. was good enough. I was. Yeah. yeah. I. That's how I learned how to draw women. Like I. I could only draw like dudes. And then I was like, I need to learn how to draw women because like titty. I'm in a drought. There's no. Oh there's God, nothing to jerk off to. Goo. I've heard of other people doing that, but I don't think. So yeah, in this yes. in that day and age, like you know, seeing a Hooters waitress like that kept me going for like months. You know what I mean? I boop, I banked that. You know what I mean? There it's was a time bank. when that was an important service. Yes. I see. Now, who cares? Like, that's crazy. I did scrambled cable porn, too, yeah. Oh, yeah. Of and it, that, that, was, that was desperate time. Yeah, bro. of course. That scrambled porn. Of course. Was just, you have uh, to time it. You have so to time bad. it, too, like when your parents are away. You know what I mean? So, like, you don't know when they're going to come back from dinner. So you have to do, like, it's, it's you know, it's one of like those. Like this. You're like, was that a titty or an elbow? You're like stare. You're standing right in front of the television like this. Should I? Should I? Should I finish? Is that an elbow or? A, yeah. Is it a bald head? Is it a you titty? can't get caught. <laughs> like, I had. Oh my god. I had the move set like ready. You know what I mean? Immediately like, flip yeah, the waistband yeah. back up. You have to have a plan. Hit the fucking TV like to you know Nickelodeon or whatever. Yeah. You, you need from a plan. Six to midnight. You need an escape plan always, yeah. bro. Like God forbid you hear that key turning. Oh my God, dude, it's over. You ever been caught? Fuck yeah. Really? See, I'd never. I, oh my God. Yeah. I got by caught who? by. So I mean, this is real like affluent uh, uh, child behavior, but we had an au pair. What the fuck? When I was in pair? Turkey, it's what? like a like a fancy way to say like a living babysitter. Are you? Was your family rich in Turkey? Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. They lost all their money by the time I got uh, by the time I was eighteen. But they were my my uh, my family was very wealthy. Wait, where did their money up. come from? What? Where'd their money come from? Um, my dad was the coordinator to like one of the largest holding groups in the country. It's a big firm. Hmm. It's, it's like a mega firm. Um. Anyway, what's a, what's a holding company? Holding group is just like, it's basically like an umbrella corporation that owns a bunch of other gigantic corporations. Okay, so he's a big, he was a big corporate. He's like a big guy. shot corporate guy. How do you lose his money? Uh, futures trading, I think. Oh, no. Yeah. Dude, I have a friend with a, Le with a, um, with a, uh, Lebanese dad who also lost his entire family's yeah. fortune to the same fucking thing. Is yeah. that a thing that happens? Well, I mean, I guess it's, uh, we, we were... That's the Uyghur and Piker family curse. Like every every single one of my uh, <clears throat> every generation. Like my grandfather on my father's side, super wealthy, spends all the money, retires by like thirty, spends all of his money this entire life. So by the time my father was at uh, by the time my father went to college, 
They didn't have a lot of money. He made a lot of money again, lost it all by the time uh, I went to college. Fuck. He basically gambled it all away, is yeah. what it means. Yeah. You pissed at him for that? Was the no. was there problems in the family? No, I don't give a fuck. No, was I, the I had family a, mad at him. I had a I had an incredibly fortunate, incredibly privileged. Uh, okay, I don't upbringing. need disclaimers. I just want to know what actually happened. Were you? No, no, I'm not. But I'm. But this is something I talk about quite frequently. Like I, and it's important <laughs> to my worldview too. It's like, why would I be mad at them? They already gave me the the fucking major boost ahead of time. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> was the family education. pissed at him for losing all the money? No, it's his money. He made it. He really? It. Shit, that's crazy. Um I've never I've never cared about that. <laughs> he has he ever been on Wall Street Bets, the subreddit? <laughs> he no. fit right in there. No, this was in Turkey. He should post his losses, bro. They'd love that shit. Yeah, no, this was this was in Turkey. But um wait, what the fuck was it what were we talking about? Wait, oh yeah, I, I got caught on my au pair. Okay, that's not as bad and as like she's your like mom. younger too. She was like younger. Yeah, is she um, pretty. Uh, yeah, I thought so. Oh fuck. That that. What did she do? It was formative. How old were you? Oh. And nope. then she ran away. Like she opened the door. And I was like, no. So it's not like in the porn. What? She wasn't like. No, it wasn't like in that? the porn at all. Just make it. Just I mean, check in. Just it was check like in. it was a moment where like it was terrifying for me, but then like that moment definitely fed me a little bit. Oh my god! I have the great luck. You were ahead of, of the curve on the in. on the au pair on the porn. Au pair shit, yeah. Wait, I mean, so, dude, so wait, like, how old were you? Fucking, I don't know. I was like fourteen, maybe 14. younger, probably even younger than fourteen, like 12, 13. I don't Come. know. And did and when you next saw her, it was what you guys just kind of never acknowledged it. I mean, yeah. What do you say about it? Never. Yeah. Never talked about it. Yeah. Wait. What do you mean? I'm 12. What am I gonna do? Um, we need to talk <laughs> about. What yeah. Yeah. No. I don't know. She maybe she say something like, "Please lock your door next time" or something. I don't know. I can't. What, what do you mean? You think I, I wouldn't lock my door if I had the option? <laughs> no lock. No. We're not American, man. They don't let what Turkish children. There's no door locking. The let's fuck? get out of here. Let's yeah. go. Let's let's go have lunch. Well, that's why you have the the lock. I don't. I just don't want to walk, see my kid jerking off. That's I, why the I lock there. I understand. You know I what I mean? Understand that the lock protects I, both of us. I did not have that luxury. Okay, I did not have. So that you luxury. had you you had I some also luxuries, have, but in some not. I also didn't have. We had a family computer that was downstairs in the fucking living room. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. That yeah. sucked too. Yeah, so I didn't even have the luxury of that until high school. <clears throat> yeah, I know that pain. Yeah, and Jerk we didn't have dying? like mobile phones that you could just like immediately pull porn on, right? Um, Kids these days don't know. They don't know. The one time I got caught was actually it was I was so young, dude. I must have been like, oh, so you did get caught. It, but the story is kind of funny. I don't know. I may have told this once on the show before. I think I was like eight. Like I think I had just. I mean, I, I started like humping the bed and figuring out that felt good. <laughs> so one time I was, I stole one of my dad's Playboys and I was humping the bed oh. and I fell asleep. And then I woke up and my mom was in the room just like fixing up. I was there, my pants were at my ankles. You had a cover over you. And I was passed out. Did you just have the covers down. over you? No, I was out in the open. Fuck, baby. And I woke up and my going? mom is there just like <laughs> fixing she didn't papers what and was shit. going on? Fuck, How baby, do you know? not? I mean, I was a young, maybe she didn't, maybe I was too young. She would think that maybe. That's crazy. Know. But like, I, she was just there like cleaning up and sorting shit. And I was like, what the fuck? I think there was someone else in there too. I forget who. No. I was, I was so just glad like, we've Whoa. covered the midterms extensively so far. On the most slammed midterms focused episode, we're talking about jerk off stories from yeah. our childhood. Yeah, fuck it. They all know what happened. <laughs> all right, fuck you. Yeah, I'm not listening to this Hooters guys anymore. Let's get into it. Oh, yeah, we got to do a break and then we'll get it too. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll get into the midterms. Oh, my God. Yeah, speaking Politics of jerking is off. important. <laughs> well, thank you to DoorDash, by the way, who we love. I love DoorDash, man. <laughs> they keep my ass fed, boy. Yes, yes, sir. Mm-hmm. You got it. Back-to-back -back meetings, errands to run, and chores to take care of. What's the secret to clearing your to-do list? It's a little help from DoorDash. You can get dinner, household essentials, and everything on your grocery list delivered. Along with the restaurants you love, you can now get groceries and other essential items delivered with DoorDash. Get drinks, snacks, and other household items in another hour. I love doing that. What? Sometimes you forget an ingredient, and, you know, everyone's like, what are we going to... Too, and it's like I got it, DoorDash, sour. Cream. That's my that's my move. If I go to like a party, every party can be spiced up with some with some burgers. 
Oh, really? You yeah. bring burgers wherever you go? I'll just go and I'll order like, I'll order so much food. That's awesome. Yeah. DoorDash. <laughs> burgers. Yeah. Pizza. And it's like, you're the king now, dude. Immediately. If you have if it's, you have the financial security to do so, you know, yeah. do it. People will remember that. Oh, yeah. Uh, every time you place an order for pickup or delivery, you're setting off a chain reaction that helps give back to the people who make your neighborhood great. Okay, people helping people. Yeah, yeah. With over 300,000 partners, you can support your neighborhood go-tos or choose from your favorite national chains like Popeye's, Chipotle, Cheesecake Factory. And with DoorDash, you're not just getting the things you love, but supporting the community you love, too. That's nice. That's a beautiful th- message, huh? That's a wonderful... Joe's Taco Shack. Just put his kid through college. Uh, what is this? Mario's Pizzeria. Just uh, fucking uh, paid for his electricity bill. I don't know what that is. It's some kind of... It's a cable concealer. Or oh. Yeah, put it away. It's supposed to be concealed. Tiny little ball gag. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and listen to this. From the stores and restaurants to the Dasher drivers going around, each purchase provides a new opportunity for everyone involved because DoorDash, there's a neighborhood of good in every order. Also, you can get shit. For a limited time, our listeners can get up to 50% off up to a $20 value and zero delivery fees when you download the DoorDash app and enter the code LEFTOVERS. That's actually an insane offer. That's just yeah. 20 free bucks. Bro. Yeah, that's 50% off up to a $20 value and zero dollars in delivery fees wow. when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter the code LEFTOVERS. leftovers. Don't forget, that's code LEFTOVERS for up to 50% off and up to a $20 value and zero delivery fees with DoorDash, subject subject to change, terms apply. Thank you, DoorDash. I love DoorDash. That's a good one. Love them. That's free money, guys. Free money. Money. Uh, you do, are you a fan of Yilong Ma? Oh, this is my favorite. Yilong Ma. Yilong Ma. Uh, he's my favorite. Oh, he's going to call him the show. We got a hold of him. No. And he speaks only Mandarin. Like, it's all real. Yeah. So, so Zach reached out to him, and he wrote him back in Mandarin. Zach had to translate it, so we're working on finding a Mandarin translator. Dude, what so we can have a call fuck? with Yi Long Ma. So- we got a couple. Okay, there, good. Oh, that's so. There's sweet. a little I bit. Love there, there's a there's a new arc. There's an, there, there's a little bit of an update that I think you'll actually find quite interesting with all that. Ethan. Tell me. Uh, he wants us to pay him. He's, How much? Uh, well, I keep <laughs> asking him. Yi Long Ma, Wait, money. He's, he's, you pay he's pay literally pay doing pay. the money thing to oh, us. Man, <laughs> Yeah, he's cake. He does. <laughs> so give he, me he, money. He put me in touch with uh, it translated to his broker. What? So, Ain't nobody broken is that broken so him. <laughs> I've been talking to his manager or whatever the fuck. I, I think it probably means manager. Right. Yeah. So um, he wants to be paid. Tell me how much, bro. I'll, I'll cough it up well, for I, you. I, 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 I asked him like five times, how much do you want? He's like, present me offer. Oh, oh. He's, good he's faith. A, He's a very. He's playing player. hardball. Yeah. He also said something well, to the effect of, uh, "You need me more than I need you." <laughs> <laughs> I need you he's so right. bad. God, he's such a better businessman than Elon Musk. It's, it's true. Crazy. It's true. Yo, it's crazy. This is, this is awesome. These guys are playing so hardball. They are. Just be so. Maybe we just be like, "Yo, you're. I'm very sorry. You're so right. We're desperate. I, I don't know. I don't know. A hundred bucks. I don't know. I'm not, I don't really USD. think it's worth more than that." How do you put a I'll, price on that? I don't know. I'm not paying him a thousand dollars for no, fucking five minutes. Oh. So a hundred dollars that's worth Maybe I I'd pay more. Let's start the negotiations there and see. Okay. Okay, I'll mess How much is that, and, and what's the you currency are, in China? This, this man is a titan of industry. Money. Yeah. He's a money. Giant. Dude, I love Get him. I love him so much. Wait, what's the Chinese currency? I don't even know. It's uh like yuan, I believe. Yeah, so so I'll tell him in yuan's, bro. One thousand or or a hundred yen. Well, he was asking USD. No, yen is Japan. Yeah. Unless yeah. they also Keep call you. Yen. Wait, how do you spell currency. the? How do you spell yuan? Uh, yeah, it is yuan. U y a n. Dude, that's seven hundred and eighteen fucking yuan's, bro. Okay, I will. What uh, are you on if you say no? <laughs> oh, nice. He's worth more. He's a king. Money. We're starting negotiations. I'm doing business. Bro. <laughs> He's playing hardball with me. We're gonna do, do a little negotiating. So, yeah. Okay. I will message him back. I love that he said you need me more than I. Know. <laughs> That's so, so fucking odd. funny. He's right. He doesn't even know like what he's calling into or what it is. It could just be like. 
and I, I've been having to talk to this guy. What? For you. What's gonna happen? He's gonna get canceled in fucking whatever region he lives in. <laughs> that was right. just funny. For all he knows, it could just be like some like two listener look, like. Look at this. Podcast. This message. Show your sincerity and say how much you can pay. We are no short of traffic. We don't need you to help us. <laughs> we need you to bring quotation. And then he said a Pepe emoji. He said Pepe emoji. <laughs> no. Yo, that's fire. What kind of Pepe emoji? It was like the half ass smile and it's the smirk? Yeah, the smirk where it's like fingers like right. Wow. So here, offer him offer him a thousand yuan. How much is that? One thousand uh one thousand yuan is the USD. You wanna know you wanna know that's 140 bucks. Okay, bucks. I'll say okay. it. You wanna know the truth? <laughs> yeah. Yilong Ma is the reason why Elon bought Twitter. So we could finally destroy like <laughs> it's like a uh, Highlander, right? Like he's the real oh. Elon Ma is the real one. Right. And Elon is the fake one. Mm -hmm. And he is working actively to destroy him. Mm. And that's why he's like going hard after impersonators. It could be. I mean, yeah, that's why you got banned. Because not, of Yilong Ma. Yilong Ma. Yeah. Money. By the way, Black Friday sales up. Thank you, TeddyFresh.com. <laughs> yeah, we got a segue. We need to make some money so we can pay hey, Yilong Ma. <laughs> All the I'm about are to going to the Yilong Ma fund. I'm about to shill out a thousand yuan. All right, um, let's talk. Let's talk shop. Yeah. We only have an it. hour left, though. Yeah. <laughs> let's get into it. So first of all, the one thing I noticed that I want to get your take on, and I love this. It's so refreshing and it's so nice. Very, very, very little talk about rigged elections. Yeah. And that's so nice because, you know, that's kind of the the expectation these days. Yeah. And uh, it didn't happen. What's your take on that? Um, I think one of the things that happened is Pennsylvania started immediately uh, tabulating uh, early votes, like vote uh, the, the mail-in ballots, mm -hmm. like the day of, which they originally stated they were not going to do, which was going to create what is known as the red mirage, right? And we were gearing up for that. The media was gearing up for that. Everyone was like, listen, we need to communicate this to you. Like, um, even the Republicans actually engaged in this on the other side, where they were like, yeah, it's going to be real strange when the Republicans are winning at night and then the, you know, tide sh uh, turns around. If that happens, like, remember, there's cheating. And that didn't happen. Mm. It was a back and forth. It was neck and neck in many races. And by the end of the night, it looked like Democrats were uh, winning in a lot of places where they were not. Uh, a lot of places that were supposed to be contested. Mm -hmm. So for that reason, they tried it a little bit in Arizona and Pennsylvania. In Pennsylvania, they ran out of uh, uh, paper. And in Arizona... How the fuck you run out of paper? I don't know. That's some dumb shit. But um, in Arizona... No more ballots, people. Go in, home. In Arizona, in Maricopa County, uh, there were some issues with, uh, with one of the processors <laughs> that was just spitting out 75% of the uh, ballots back. Only reading 25%. Okay, so they were like, problem. please use ballot drop-off box number three. And then because these guys are, especially in Arizona, the conservatives are so geared, they made it like a fundamental plank of their campaigning that the elections were stolen mm. because of these inconsistencies and stuff like that, even though there were no inconsistencies. A lot of these guys were terrified and they cooked themselves. They ended up hurting themselves. It ended up working as voter suppression for their own base of voters. Yeah. Um, it, it literally backfired in a dramatic way. So other than those two instances, we haven't really heard too much. Nevada is still going to probably be an issue. There's going to be, uh, there's always problems with Nevada uh, in, in tabulation and whatnot. It takes a long time. Uh, same with Arizona. It's just a lot of these like desert country. They just don't know how to count. The, 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 the heat just, you know, wrecks people's brains, I think. Yeah, yeah. They just have a really hard time with counting. Um, so we'll see what happens there. But uh, overall, I think it was because they were ready for a massive wipeout, mm. which is understandable. So, but wouldn't they want to scream f uh, foul play since they didn't get what they wanted? But I think what you're saying, there was less red mirage, which is kind of gives them the optics. Yeah. There was less red mirage. And right now, they are too busy trying to comprehend exactly how this gigantic fuck up happened for the Republican Party looking to pick up 60 seats in the house barely barely winning the majority we don't even know they may not even i was yeah hearing which today. is insane did like, you hear might that come down they might not even over. get the house there's <laughs> that, like a it, chance yeah i i think most of the predictions are still leaning uh republican right but it's not it's not even a it's sure not impossible thing. for them crazy? to fall short yeah it's crazy yeah. And, so. and it's it's not just crazy <laughs> because 
uh, you know, oh, d Republicans are really doing well or whatever. This is historic. And yeah. the reason why it's historic is, you know, if I put my wonk hat on for a second, every single time there's a president that is like below 50% approval rating, in the midterms, he's going to get shafted. Mm -hmm. His party is going to get shafted. Americans use the midterms, the ones that actually end up going out and voting in the midterms, use it as an opportunity to say, we don't like what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And if your performance indicates that, uh, you know, people are not too happy with it as Joe Biden's <clears throat> performance and his approval rating after it, you know, boosted a little bit was still resembling the Donald Trump approval rating right. in the 2018 midterms, you're slated to lose, you know, 60 plus seats. That's normal. Yeah. Then on top of that, there's 8% inflation. The cost of living is a crisis. A lot of people are losing their minds over it in an understandable fashion. Side note. The economy's looking bad. Impossible. It looked like an impossible win for any president. Doesn't matter if it was Joe Biden. Doesn't matter if it was Donald Trump. Doesn't matter if it was Barack Obama. Any president in that circumstance, regardless of how many great things they might may or may not have done, they're going to get destroyed apparently it was the best turnout for an incumbent president in decades yeah so um i think it's encouraging i hope that we see less of this uh rigged election shit which is just scary and fucked up and i think Amer i'm proud of americans because they rejected that and what's funny is we learned that the strategy is actually self-defeating because your fucking fans lose faith in the institution or your, you know, voters, and then they don't end up fucking voting. Even if they don't lose faith in the institutions, <coughs> if your goal is to get everybody to vote on the day of, well, you're advocating for voter suppression for your own fan base because, like, ultimately, it's significantly easier to yeah. vote and drop off your, you know, mailed in ballot. When voting is easier, more people vote. Yes. Period. Absolutely. Which is something that the Republicans truly understand. That's precisely why for a very long time they were against mail in voting. That's why Donald Trump was against it. And I think that the COVID era uh, amenities, it's just weird to consider that an amenity. It's just like something that should happen anyway, um, was, was truly beneficial for, uh, you know, the, the, democratization process if we want to call it that more people voting more people participating mm -hmm. in elections um i think that was a big component obviously the fact that they overstepped their boundaries on uh abortion yeah that backfired on them in a dramatic way in an understandable way any state where like abortion was on the ballot like michigan annihilated wipeout wipe yeah it's why great. They knew that this was going to happen. They knew this because they knew it was happening in Kansas. It happened in Kansas before mm. the, in the midterms, it happened in Kansas. So they desperately, the Republican Party was desperately trying to get the uh, constitutional like abortion protections uh, off of every ballot they possibly could, right. but they failed in Michigan. And, you know, <laughs> that drew a lot of people to go out and vote. Right. Because people are going to vote for something. Ultimately. It's actually, it's so nice, honestly. I, I was expecting to just get annihilated to lose house and senate and just live in another fucking dark age you know but well, it's we're not still what in the dark ages we're not out of it. it's encouraging though it is nice to see actually some good news coming out of this and and people also rejected the stop the steal people all the candidates most of them all the maga endorsed candidates i mean trump took a fat fucking l dude yeah he, and 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 you're seeing it already we have a whole section in here of republicans turning on trump they're saying it's time to move past trump here's the issue this is not a donald trump issue this is a republican party issue here's why the republican party cannot run on republican policies especially now why because republican policies are anti-populist they're technical and they're anti-working class right mm -hmm. so they can't show their open disdain for the working class when they have basically presented themselves as the working class party mm. but there's only two two methods in america to present yourself as working class and this is pretty universal too at this point they do this in the uk as well boris johnson was very effective with this you're racist and it's racist to be working class and the mm -hmm. working class just means white working class and the more racist the more conservative you are socially the more working class you are this is like in the air a lot of people for some weird reason genuinely hold on to this narrative okay they think that this is the truth it's obviously not the truth the working class is unique. It's diverse. There's, you know, uh, black people in the working class. There are uh, women in the working class. There are LGBT people in the working class. Yada, yada. Disabled people. 
Um, and then the second way that you could present yourself as working class is by left-wing economic uh, populist messaging. But that is antithetical to the Republican Party's messaging because the Republican Party wants to deregulate and they want to make uh, they they want to add tax cuts. Seems and they like want to they cut do social the security. Immigration fear. They're like yeah. we're trying to save your jobs, people. So immigrants are taking your jobs. So this is like I said, this is, we are there in my assessment, the Republican Party is suffering from its success. Right. Because they have been so powerful on wedge issues mm -hmm. on the social conservatism side and because they've actually allowed um the the uh, white evangelical base to taste the fruits of their labor mm -hmm. in the form of uh you know overturning roe v wade they now can't use that as a weapon well it used yeah exactly the abortion issue they used to use to drive people to the yeah, poll they can't and now use that. as that's gone and now it's actually a, in the democrat <laughs> position where people are going to the poll to legalize abortion so they took a fat there is an L in terms of voter motivation. Yeah, there. there is no confusion there anymore. Uh, maybe you could hide behind like bureaucracy or trap laws or whatever the fuck you wanted while simultaneously offering the white evangelicals in the South a very active participating voter base within the Republican Party. You could offer them something by curbing abortion rights. Mm -hmm. But now at the national level, abortion has always historically been popular to protect mm -hmm. 75 percent across history right um at the national level everyone now knows the republican party across the board is associated with those psychotic christian zealots that stand outside of abortion clinics right that's a really bad look so you have two different categories within your voter base you have the maga guys who make up a big chunk probably the largest chunk of the uh voter base the, the, the guys who are like super geared, the demon hunters, you know, the, the people that go to the parent teachers conferences and they're like, oh, they're trans in our children. Mm. The, the Nazis, the, the working class folk that are just completely brain broken by watching Tucker and uh, Fox News and whatnot. And then you have the suburban voters who are like, I'm fiscally conservative. Uh, I, I'm a little racist. I'm racist. I just wish that they wouldn't be so brazen about their racism. Mm -hmm. Those two are at a contradicting point. Those two uh, uh, voter bases are at a contradicting point because, like, you can't you can't captivate both of them at the same time in the same way Trump did in 2016 mm. because he was running against Hillary Clinton and everybody fucking hated Hillary Clinton. So now you have to figure out a way to both win the primary, and the only way to win the primary is by going right, mm. okay, and then not go so far right in the primary that you have pushed away the uh, general electorate, the broader electorate that, that you need to, to have like a winning solution. The suburban, uh, you know, Karens and the wine moms and, and you know, the, the racist uh, white women. Do in the you suburbs. think that uh, DeSantis or Trump is going to get it? Because I, I, me and Dan have been talking about, I am so fired up, bro, for this, um, for this upcoming presidential, the DeSantis versus Trump showdown is going to be spectacular, dude. It's going to be so entertaining and so fun. Your yeah, thoughts. I agree. There's yeah. going to be a lot of tea there. I, I so, think uh, so Donald good. Trump's already started uh, blistering uh, Ron, DeSantis a little bit. Ron DeSanctimonious. Yeah, he said that was word. that was not his best. No, yeah, no. He, he's going to he's going to say Ron DeSink is the stinky. I think <laughs> Ron DeSinky. Ron DeSinky. Ron the neck wipe. Don't we love it, folks? <laughs> Um, he's, uh, so, problem is, Ron DeSantis looks like a fucking hero right now. They love his ass. He, he went from... But once Trump starts bullying him, the perception changes. He's gonna Jeb Bush his ass. I don't know. Well, I'm, I'm on the edge of my seat. I love it, man. I can't... I, I don't I, know, because gonna... Ron DeSantis is, like, very good at <laughs> gaining national prominence by doing Trump shit. But the National Republican Party knows he's not Trump, as in he's a political machine guy, so he will abide by the wishes of the Republican Party. Donald Trump, on the other hand, flies off, uh, you know, if, does whatever the fuck he wants to do. And I'll tell you what, if Trump loses the primary... He's not going to concede, bro. He's going to tear that whole party down, I feel like. We shall He's gonna see. He's going to be a Democrat. He's going to endorse fucking Joe Biden. We shall see. It'll be very Joe's a good watch. man. 
Uh, I, I am afraid of. of I've known Ron Joe Mandel. a long time. He's a good man. We've golfed together. A lot of people don't like Joe, but he's a good man. He just f- totally flops. Anyway, let's. So, what I wanted to look at is some of the hardcore coping going on amongst our uh, Love that. conservative contemporaries. Uh, oh, by the way, my side note is that actually this would have helped Joe Biden a lot, but. The inflation report came out today. Oh, it was yeah. Favorable. It's going down way more than people expected. The oh, market yeah. is up 5%. That's oh, insane yeah. for one day. That's like especially, fucking nuts. It, especially like, uh, you know, important goods for survival, like food, mm-hmm. down like 2 3%, I think. It's crazy. That's just such great news. I mean, that that's, that's yeah. really good news. It just is. And f- again, 5%, that's nuts, dude. In a single day, so he I mean, it's it. still way down from where it was, but he still. did it, Joe. Five percent. So that's great news. So let's start with Tim Pool. Uh, Tim, everyone should have a nuke pool. Um, first of all, look at all these leading up to the uh, he's so goaded election. Just the best. <laughs> look at his thumbnails. Democrats panic after mail-in votes fall short, signaling massive. GOP, that didn't even red happen. Wave. Like, wh- wh- why? Where do you get that information from? Like, he's like the quartering. They lit- You could just make up, fucking say anything you want, and put a touch. No, it's he's, like he's so smarter easy. than the quarter. Okay, don't diss him that hard. I don't know. Quartering's thumbnails are pretty insane, bro. Yeah, I mean, qu- quartering does that for like culture war shit. At least like Tim Pool. I like quartering more than Tim Pool. I'll be honest. Really? Because Tim Pool is like, he's such a fucking. He takes himself so fucking seriously. Yeah. And I just despise his stupid little fucking shtick. Is he's such a grifter? At least Quartering's like I'm a big fat stupid inbred fucking oaf, and and I'm presenting you with that, and we and I Fair. appreciate that, you know. I mean, I think they're both very dumb Here's and the, very bad. Oh, uh, you're just mad because of these recent thumbnails on you, bro. Wait, uh, what is Hassan this? has dark Jack Murphy like past revealed. What is this? Twitch comments attacks a fan at TwitchCon for asking a question about what the fuck? I've never this Oh, is quartering, quartering did that? Yeah. That's so funny. And then and then this one, um oh, he made you like look like an Islamist. Oh. That's pretty wild actually. That's cool. Yeah. Twitch, Twitch mega star male feminist gets roasted. <laughs> This one says Twitch communist Hassan attacks a fan at TwitchCon for ass. Oh, I know what that one is. They're such bitches. That's such a funny thing to get upset about and then like present in that way. Cause like in that moment, it looked like it, it looked like Twitter fingers did not turn into, you know, a real life altercation for the people mm-hmm. that were like trying to agitate. So they like desperately were trying to flip that around, flip the narrative around. In, Regardless of what everyone could very clearly see, they're like, "Oh no, he was actually owned, actually, and it didn't. I didn't look like a pathetic little uh, baby, and yeah. and, and uh, no, he he was owned in that <coughs> that's, circumstance." That's why I'm so envious in a way of what quartering and Tim Pool do, because you can just make a title and thumbnail of fucking anything, even talk about something totally unrelated for ten yeah. minutes and just get the views. It's Dude, I would nice, fucking man. despise that. I would that's fucking. Nice. I could not stand having Printing. an audience like that. I would. I would probably kiss myself if that was my audience. You would kiss yourself? Yeah, you know what I mean. I uh, don't know if you can say that. Oh, is that me. what you would say? Okay, well. Wait, wait, Yilong responded? Wait, 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 are you serious, Zach? <laughs> yeah. We offered him a thousand yuan. And then he uh, said uh, in Chinese, uh, bye, I don't care about you. Dude, we lowballed him. <laughs> And then he said, forget it, don't waste each other's time. I keep asking him, give me a price, give me a price. This guy is, something dude, out. okay, okay, let's try again, let's try. Dude, he is such a business wizard, Okay, let's dude. do 2,000 yuan, how much He's is that? He's fucking destroying yeah, I know, you right I know. now. Okay, let's try 2,000 yuan, that's 300 bucks. Oh my god, he's owning you, bro. Bye, I don't care about you. By the end of this, by the end of this, he's gonna have the $3 billion studio. And then he, uh, He's gonna be able to buy Twitter after this. And yeah. then he deleted all the messages from our chat. I guess you can do that in Telegram. Is he just bailed? Like, for real? Ch- well, he's, not- he's still talking. Yeah, do 2,000 yuan. Uh, best offer. Best offer. It's just <laughs> like a 10-minute call, bro. 2,000 yuan. Okay. That's... You look desperate. I am. I mean, you should have came with a better offer. <laughs> Dude, what, for what? He's calling him for 10 minutes. Mm. <laughs> Well, you think I you think I should offer more than two thousand yuan? That's three hundred bucks. What the fuck you do to deserve that? <laughs> uh, 
He is just, Yilong Ma. I'm I'm in awe of the words that are coming out of your mouth. All right, how much is ten thousand yuan? <laughs> Take all my money, ten thousand yuan. <laughs> to all USK. my money. That's fourteen hundred dollars. I'm it's not giving him that. HGH Street Productions bankrupt. <laughs> I'm not giving that mother. I'm not giving that. I love his ass, but I ain't giving him more than that. Well, let's Fuck. see what he says to the two thousand. Two thousand, bro. Two thousand. Yeah, someone says around two hundred and fifty. Yeah, so so that's what two thousand yuan. It's it's two it's three hundred dollars basically. So. All right, let's get back to these losers though. So anyway, Tim Pool new production shows insane red wave coming. Democrats are freaking out. Democrats panic over blowout loss as safe blue areas now expect to flip GOP. Governor admits they are being destroyed by GOP as red wave looms. That's funny because Gavin Newsom won by like thirty points. Gavin Newsom is one of those locks where it's like <laughs> you don't even need a projection. Like they, the Gabby moment the boy. polls close, they they call. You seen his hair? Beautiful hair. There is no, there, no, it's no contest. Yeah, well, my so, brother called me. Uh, he has not had access to the internet, but he's been around like old people for the past week. Like his internet is like uh, patchy, and he was like, "So what's up?" A lot of people are saying Nancy Pelosi lost her seat. What? <laughs> I was like, "Bro, you're crazy. <laughs> These people are just insane." Yeah, dude, Nancy Pelosi. I saw a clip of Tim saying that this is co- like he saw this coming. Uh, I thought that was in the doc, but I don't see it. If you can find that. Yeah, he, he went on a show and he's like, uh, I don't know why everyone's uh, surprised by this. Or maybe it was a tweet where he's like, this was a good turnout. Anyway, here he is. Uh, yeah, it was a tweet. The day before the uh, the the prime or the midterm and he... Is, Dude, this is awesome. He's praying. We to the literally lunar have gone back to like medieval times. Bro, he's doing a rain dance right no, now. No, this is straight up like he is a medieval peasant. Okay, like, oh, my lord, the blood moon <laughs> signifies we must sacrifice our firstborn for the harvest. Like that's what it, that's what Tim Pool is on, which is way cooler than like. You know, Nate Silver being like, oh, my God, it's going to be a blowout red wave. Like, shut up, Nate. At least this is Bitch, like. Nate did not hear about the blood moon because that would have yeah. ca- that would have altered his calculations. But here's Tim Poole uh, saying that the blood yeah, moon foretells guys, of a red wave. These guys literally are Tomorrow like dark morning. age peasants. OK, yeah, yeah. What did which the- is cool as fuck. Absolutely. 12.02 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. When the entirety of the contiguous <laughs> United States enters November 8th. He's the so day of the serious, too. He's so serious. There will I love be that. a total lunar eclipse, creating what's called a blood moon lunar eclipse. Yeah. It's also Going the day of the, the moon, full moon. Baby. Ominous, to put it quite literally, the red moon, many say, signifies the coming red wave when republicans will sweep god is a republican as you well know Dude, that's so and sick. he loves the color that's red so sick god like, has I love- passed god has made the moon maga in honor of this midterm election i'm constantly i'm constantly <laughs> living in a world of contradiction because like on the one hand i think it's like really fun when people lean into sk- their schizophrenic tendencies like this but also on the other hand i'm like oh my god they're like literally making people insane he's a mystic he's a mystic they're making shaman, people bro. insane and at a certain point we're going to get to a certain point where it's not just going to be like 1.7 1.8 million pennsylvanians voting for a guy like doug mastriano mm-hmm. it's going to be more than that and i am thinking long term this is unsustainable, okay? You think like, so? Because I thought this was a total, like a rebuke. No, nope, rebuke of that. Because you're not looking at the other side of this. The other side of this, and this is what the Democrats do all the time. They're like, oh, we put up, we propped up with the Pied Piper strategy. We po- we propped up some election deniers. We propped up some like anti-democracy zealots. We propped up some Christian nationalist fascists, mm-hmm. and they got owned because you know the suburban. Uh, wine mom said, no, that's too gnarly for me. I don't really like that. You're kind of gross. I'm going to vote for civility, which is what they vote for. What we are failing to comprehend here is that depending on which way Fox News goes, those people are inevitably going to be radicalized into believing that shit as well. And that's what I'm fearful I don't know. of. I actually, Every time I... you prop up these sickos, you got more people voting for them on the Republican side. And that is terrifying. My my relief in all of this is that it seems like that's not what's happening, but I guess we'll see. Here's Tim Pool <clears throat> after all those videos foretelling of the great red wave. 
He tweeted out, it's funny how Republicans won. DeSantis, Abbott, and Kemp won handily. 224 House seats projected. And yet I see leftists mocking the GOP as if they lost and conservatives lamenting the results. What? The forecast was so bad for Dems, the GOP winning is uh, this is uh, the GOP is winning talking, this well is considered a loss. Is he like, talking about Ben Shapiro when he says leftist? Because uh, honestly, <clears throat> Ben Shapiro has been destroying uh, the Republican All Party. All the Republicans. I see yeah. them everywhere. Everyone's That's like, this so was weird. a huge loss. Dog. Tim Pool's the only one who's like, I told you that blood moon, bro. It spoke Wait, to me. That's crazy. This is like literally a historic yeah. upset. Yeah. It's you know what I mean? It's coping to this the This is like hype. when the Harlem Globetrotters loses and everyone's like, what the fuck? The Washington Generals actually play ball? Like, what's <laughs> happening? Like, this wasn't supposed to happen. Actually, I want to continue this Blood Moon video, though, because uh, people take Tim seriously. And I yeah. think it's important people know that he's actually just a mid from Tim The midterms of the Blood Moon. I, I love this story. Me too. But I am not an atheist. I am not particularly theistic. I don't follow any organized religion. But I got to tell you, when you see stuff like this, you can't help but believe there is something else out there. It is. It's a yes, fucking eclipse. He's bro. right. He's right, dude. He's right. It's just so stupid because, like, you have to be so um, ethnocentric to believe this. It's just like red. It's an arbitrary color that you. Well, pick, it's bro. communist. It, for yeah, the rest of the world, exactly. It can be for the rest of the world. Though. It literally yeah. for the rest of the world outside of the United States of America, red is historically associated yeah, exactly. with so, communism. So by the same, if you want to use the same logic yeah. that red is some symbolism, it'd be way more likely that red means that you know communism is back. Yeah, maybe. yeah, yeah. yeah there, there's just, a there's a spirit like, haunting. The there's a specter haunting uh, the United States. It's the specter of communism. But like I said, he's gonna do like. I, I want him to do, like really lean into it, like do like ritualistic shaman sacrifices, I want to see like a fucking pagan, yeah. you know? Let's kill some rabbits. Yeah, drink their blood. Just like sucking on the neck of a rabbit, Tim Pool. Like, oh, this bodes not so well for I the Democrats. Is, I believe this is how um, Bloodborne started. Is that right, Dan? Mm -hmm. right. He's about to hit up. He's about to go <laughs> goblin on things. Right? Yeah, not just chaos. <laughs> Order exists. Cause this Give is Give me just, some creepy music, Zach. I think that will I think that will add a lot. Yeah. It's crazy, Moon. And crazy. a total lunar moon. eclipse. That's crazy. That's crazy. What if this signifies dark days? I don't know. How about we be a little bit more optimistic than pessimistic and say it signals a cleansing. That there's going to be a shift. Republicans are gonna come in, they're gonna wash away this. Would you corruption say this an tainted. ethnic cleansing? Yeah, you know, positive things like that. Posy yeah. vibes. Keep up Let's, the posy vibes. Mm -hmm. Let's think positive here, guys. And for the next two years will be a process. That the omen is not for those of sound think? mind and good judgment, those of honesty. The omen is for the Democrats who lied, cheated, and stole their way to power. What? Maybe. I didn't know Tim was an election denier. Oh, dude, he definitely is. Well, come on. Maybe this sign is... That's how the 49th state landslide didn't happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm like, because Democrats forget. cheated. No, I, I love this. face accountability. And okay, so God is sending a the message funny, to Democrats. The funniest part about this mm -hmm. rhetoric, in my opinion, is not that he, you know, sounds like a fucking medieval peasant, but also the fact that he thinks, like, the Republicans, if they gained control over both the House and Senate would actually do something productive with that. Like he thinks, no, they were gonna like, they were gonna impeach Biden, probably successfully, by the way, somehow. So. Like after 11 impeachments, they would have like a hundred different Hunter Biden investigative committee. <laughs> We've had another laptop. You would literally see Hunter Biden, like there would be a, a, a one dedicated to his penis uh, right. alone. Like yeah. every everything that Hunter Biden did, uh, committee time. Yeah, but. They weren't gonna do anything with the with that power. Another clip of Tim uh, resurfaced during the uh, 2020 election. He had what is probably the funniest take ever. He predicted a 49, perhaps 50 state Bro, landslide for Trump. Lost California, he and New York. Wrong. Included. Democrats cheated. This is so satisfying. Watch this. I think Kamala and Biden might be throwaway candidates. They know they are going to get steamrolled in the election. I really don't see the Democrats winning this. I think it's fair to say Trump's going to win re-election. I think Trump might have a massive, massive victory. Why do people still left. watch him? I think we're looking at a Trump victory, man. Trump Trump, this, this man clearly has literally no insight to the point that he's trying to read the moon. Okay, why do people watch him? What do you mean? He's he's First of all, people watch him because he's hot. 
Okay. Yeah, he is sexy. Because he's fucking sexy. I'll just say it. I'm not afraid. People are like, damn, I want to be like him. How can I be him? You know, they, they look up to him in that regard. I feel so that's that. number one. Number two, um, <clears throat> he's just soothing. Like, he's literally, everybody wants to hear from, quote unquote, the opposing side, uh, you know, uh, agreeing with uh, their worldview. Tim Pool has been able to somehow maintain his, like, centrist Stupid. presence because, like, the shit that he talks about and the way that he covers the news comes across in a centrist way, I guess, to like political normies who are dumb, but then like they, they kind of see his videos on the search bar on the related uh, news tab. And uh, that's why people love when a liberal is like, I'm a liberal, I'm progressive, as a matter of fact, but I think Donald Trump's gonna win 49 yeah. states. Like every hog. Yeah. And Hogalina is gonna watch that and go. That's right. Somebody speaking the truth it's here, brother. It's a libtard with some, some sense. Yeah, he was wrong about the foreign on state thing, but I well, still believe in him. Yeah. They, they think they Even think Trump was gonna sweep. Yes. Thing going on with COVID. I think that's what we can expect. I wouldn't be surprised at all. If Trump had a 49-state landslide, I think we could <laughs> see a 49-state landslide. We may be looking at a Mondale-Reagan-type <laughs> scenario where Trump landslides 49 states. And we may see a, a 49-state landslide. You can't be Maybe serious. Maybe a 50-state landslide. That'd be that amazing. Is it, 50 I think we might be seeing a 49-state landslide. What's the, what's the state that really wasn't going to vote for yeah, that, I was just our thinking Lord that. and Savior? I wonder. Probably, I mean, it had to be New York or California. California, you probably. Yeah. California more than New York. California. California's crime ridden drug addicts everywhere. Damn, I wouldn't step foot in that state. It's a dangerous cesspool, boy. Anyway, here in Texas, we lose the power during the coldest month of the year every year. Okay, let's keep it a buck fifty. Fucking California infrastructure is not exactly great either. On election day, I'm covering the midterms. I had three power outages because it was raining. Okay, really? so I didn't have any power actually. Mine was fine. Do you guys have any problems? Yeah, I had. Oh, you problem. did. Yeah. yeah, shit, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. We we, we live don't in take rain very well. We live in the we live in the proletariat suburbs, <laughs> unlike you, oh, sir. <laughs> yeah, right. You're no proletariat, please. Yeah, in the working class suburbs of West Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, um, so Tim Pool is a fucking idiot. We love that about him. Uh, but here is uh. A Fox News compilation of coping and seething. Um, this guy, this guy, what's his name? I forget his name, but I know he... Jesse Waters. Yeah, Jesse Waters, um, who is, of course, a he's, traditional he's, values guy. He's uh, Fred Flintstone if he took uh, clenbuterol. Wait, what's clenbuterol? It's a uh, horse asthma bronchitis steroid that people use to cut with. It's like a fat burner. You cut it into steroids? It is steroids. Oh. You just take it. Uh, as a fat burner. Okay. You got any of that going spare? No. Okay. Just you want me. some? Yeah, I want some. I'm trying to burn some fat. Bro, I will get you steroids. No. Like, let's put you on a <laughs> fucking regimen. for me? Like, let's put you on a stack. Dude, you're going to want to fucking work out. You're going to be angry all the time. Uh, uh, gotta you're going to be horny. Heavy. You're going to be horny all the time. You're going to be angry all the time. You're going to want to fucking... You're going to... You're going to want to lift weights. That's... Ah! Give me something heavy. An angrier, hornier Ethan is exactly what the show needs. That'd yeah. be so yeah. weird, though. It'd be funny. He's gonna fall asleep, humping the bed again. Naked. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna come into the studio that. with his pants around <laughs> his ankles. Don't need that. <laughs> yeah, this guy, traditional values, uh, Fox News guy. He actually um, is famous in my life for stalking um, and deflating the tire of the woman he had a crush with. He cheated on his wife with her, but yeah, he got her by deflating one of her tires so he could trick her into giving a ride home. Yep. It was an intern at the time, Get too, right? Oh, he was? Get your I don't know, man in, who... It was an employee of his. I don't oh, know okay. if it was an intern, but yeah. Anyway, here he is. I can't believe John Fetterman won! Oh, wait, didn't we say we wanted to replace this, Dan, with the mega... Compilation of him. Oh, uh, I can try and find that real quick. Chris Hayes. Chris yeah. Hayes had one. Uh, yeah, Dan will pull that. But in the meantime, here's Laura Ingram. It was pretty great. Going into 2024, the Republicans are going to be looking for candidates who are focused on winning, not just making a point or settling a score. So to really change the country, we're going to have to win. And we have to win over voters outside our traditional base. That means young people, too. That's got to be the goal for the next presidential election. 
The populist movement is about ideas. Yes, ma'am. It is not about yeah. any one person. God, dude, she is like, first of all, she was one of the biggest Trump dick riders of all time. They all were, but they also, if you remember, because I've been doing this for a very long time, Ethan, back in 2015, they all despised Donald Trump. Of course. People forget that. These guys, they know what the Trump base will wants. Ruin a will ruin the party, brother. Republicans run to run towards the desires of their base, <laughs> Democrats run away from the desires of their base. <laughs> right. Which is ironic because Republicans' base desires are fucking awful, but the Democratic base desires resemble the desires of a, a normal functioning state. Well, anyway, she's basically being like, Trump, by the way, fuck that guy. Yeah. And it, we all knew this whole time that Trump was a piece of shit. It's brother. not just like ego and grievance, though. I mean, it, it is grievance for sure. But like your entire politics is grievance. You just were not able. You went too far. You were not able to fucking brainwash enough people into becoming psychotic Christian zealots. Your base is falling apart. The more we modernize, the more likely it is that the next generation is going to be less religious um, there are less and less like Christians, tradcaths in this country every fucking year. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can't build a winning coalition by going after the most insane people over and over again, especially when you give them results. When you give them results, you associate the National Party with the psychotic abortion clinic watchers. Okay, and nobody wants that. Nobody wants to be a part of that. You fucking lose. I love yeah. it. Voters conclude that you're, you're putting your own yeah, ego well, hard, or though. your own grudges ahead of what's good for the country. They're going to look elsewhere. Period. We knew that. I always knew that. Yeah, she always knew that. Here she is. One oh, oh and yeah. this was a pot. One of the yeah, worst she's part. hailing Hitler to Trump, our Lord and Savior. We love One of the Trump. worst uh, campaign strategies, <laughs> I, I, like always, was literally just denying the election results. Uh, That's refreshing. Because it was, so, it was so petty. Like, Trump uh, does have a cult of personality. If he's on the ballot, things might be different, obviously. You're going you're gonna, to, you know, have a lot more motivated people to go out and vote for him. But when he's not on the ballot... And he's only pumping people that are saying that, like, he, he actually didn't lose. Uh, you know, that's, that's going to really throw off a lot of people. And you're not going to be able to captivate a winning coalition, which they didn't. Here's Jesse Waters losing his mind. It's very satisfying. Look at what happened, let's say, in Pennsylvania. I can't believe John Fetterman won. I really? Dr. Oz is like the lamest, most pathetic loser candidate yeah. I've ever fucking seen if in history. If, if you can't believe John Fetterman won, um, then you just have never paid attention to Pennsylvania politics until like yesterday. Who would vote for Dr. Oz? Like even you probably didn't vote. Who the fuck would vote for him? Like, well, no, no, no. The Dr. Rock. Oz, Dr. Oz is not necessarily the worst candidate, right? He is. That's the reason why he actually performed pretty well. He performed... Uh, I believe, I mean, he performs significantly better than Doug Mastriano, right? Because he is a winning coalition candidate. He definitely does get like some of the civility focusing uh, Republicans, right? The issue is the Fetty Wap. John bro. Fetterman is diehard, bleeds fucking Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. lives and breathes Pennsylvania. Right. He's not a, a, a fake phony guy. He is, in many respects, the perfect candidate right. he is like if you put a fucking if you if you were to do like a ai generated you know uh pennsylvania uh union guy that is what it would spit out mm -hmm. okay john mm -hmm. fetterman six foot eight lieutenant governor went Wears to harvard short, had affluent everywhere. parents went to harvard had affluent parents which they were trying to hit him on by the way which was laughable because which fucking politician hasn't gone to Harvard at this point? Uh, Tucker, uh, let's not talk about uh, inheritance. Yeah, so had rich parents, went to Harvard, literally left, went back to Braddock, Pennsylvania, small town, uh, high population of, of uh, black folk living there, very poor, went back to Braddock, massive gun violence happening in Braddock, became the mayor, fixed up Braddock, like genuinely put Braddock on the map for Pennsylvania, it's not something that people are going to forget. They're not going to forget this dude who literally would take time out of his fucking day to teach people, uh, to, to educate people on his spare time uh, so that they could get their GEDs. Like, this so guy lives and breathes Pennsylvania, so he was 
basically the exact opposite of Dr. Oz in many respects. A person who came into Pennsylvania from New Jersey. Ew. Oh, my God. I can't comprehend a, a worse state to fucking come into Pennsylvania from. saying. He's just a slimy fuck, bro. Anyway, yeah. let's just watch TV this personality. Of course he was going to lose. Yeah. Especially if Fetterman didn't have a stroke. What oh do you mean, of course? Oh, my Lord. He would have fucking destroyed. That's true. Even with the stroke. So hard. I didn't watch the debate, but I heard it was pretty yeah, no, rough it wasn't for good. him. It wasn't good. Yeah, yeah. yeah but he's still... He's just, John Fetterman won. I can't believe it. Yeah. I honestly can't believe, believe they it, voted bitch. for this guy. So abortion was critical, we know, in Pennsylvania. I did not see that it was going to be that critical. Oz was not a great candidate. He had a brutal... We knew he wasn't a good candidate the whole time. No, I, I, I disagree. I think, I think Dr. Oz was not that bad of a candidate. I'll say it, which is why I think he performed pretty well against... Crudiche? Anybody? He is an elitist, but he was able to at least capture the Trump supporters because he had Trump's backing from day one. You're born in New Jersey. he was able to win, yeah, he was able okay, to win cringe. the coalition of, like, moderates as well in Pennsylvania suburbs in a way that Doug Mastriano never was able to, to capture. Because Doug Mastriano is a fucking psycho, right? Yeah, he is yeah, exactly yeah, yeah. the type of psychopath. He's like a Christian nationalist, shooing on fascist. Spiel. Yeah, he's crazy. Yeah, crazy, crazy. So that's why Josh Shapiro wiped the fucking floor with Doug Mastriano, <laughs> but the race between Oz and Fetterman was more competitive. Crudishay, though, that Crudishay video. Anyway, let's watch. Primary, he took the summer off and he campaigned hard at the end, but people didn't trust him. They didn't trust the guy. He wasn't from Pennsylvania. So and so it all is going to come down to Georgia runoff Once again. again. <laughs> so we're, this is about Herschel Walker. Herschel Walker, and on the other hand, is a bad a candidate. Apparently. Oh, he is a nightmare. He's, he's not a good candidate. He's, he has so many liabilities. Dr. Oz had some liabilities as well. You know, a lot of oppo research if you're on TV for fucking 20, 30 years. Sure, yeah. He drinks but, his own piss, by the way. But yeah, but Herschel yeah. Walker, on the other hand, gigantic liabilities like unimaginable so much oppo when there's national when the national spotlight gets onto this fucking georgia race no matter how much uh republicans try to beef up this guy georgia voters that went for brian kemp it's gonna be a hard it's gonna be a hard sell for georgia voters who liked brian kemp in sp uh, because brian kemp was anti-trump and because brian kemp was like fundamentally for uh you know democracy but like still a republican in every sense of the word those guys might not actually go and shift over for herschel walker the argument from republicans in this race is probably going to be the runoffs that are going to happen in december now uh is going to be listen we know the guy is not all there but it's a vote it's a reliable vote and i don't know how many suburban uh, uh, white moms and suburban white dads who are like relatively affluent or at least like care about civility and aesthetics. I don't know how many of those guys you're going to be able to convince to vote for Warnock's a dude. We're not going to crush him because people like the governor there. They went to support him. Yeah. Now there's no, there's no, he's not on the ballot. So they're really would be going for the express purpose of supporting Herschel Walker, yeah. who is a walking uh, calamity. So I think Warnock is definitely going into this with a massive advantage. And he, we'll he did get the vote here. I mean, barely, but he did get it. No, he no, it's not barely. That's so that's I mean, yeah, it's, it's almost a percent. Yeah. The irony, and I did not know this, the irony, of course, of uh, <laughs> Georgia having runoffs is Georgia used to have runoff elections because white supremacists didn't want a black person to, <laughs> to ever, uh, you know, gain like a... a Senate seat, which is why they created the runoff system, down? so that all the white people who are racist would coalesce behind the white candidate, would would go uh, and and support the white candidate. That's why they started the runoffs in Georgia, hmm. which is ironic because now you have uh, you know two black candidates going yeah. against one another. Mm -hmm. um, interesting to think about, even though Herschel Walker is operating at the behest of white supremacists. Let's yeah, be real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you got um, eighty-eight percent of the evangelical vote, despite. Uh, Warnock, oh, come on, come on, come literally on, come on. Evangelicals, dedicating his on. life to Jesus. Evangelicals are insane. Yeah. Okay. They're not fucking. They're not voting on Christian principles. They're voting on evangelical pr principles, which is like hurting the opposition. They are the demon hunters. They are the ones who think they're fucking tenjiro. They think that they're slaying demons out there, going to parent teacher conferences and shit. They're psychotic. They're, they've lost the plot. Of course, they're going to vote for someone that resembles their worldview. Here is, uh, I'll play this a little bit longer. 
Riley in New Hampshire. I mean, that guy got railroaded. And if you put up a guy in, in who's running for governor in Pennsylvania who just got slaughtered, I mean, these things have down-ballot consequences. That hurts Oz. It hurts the Republican House candidates. Zeldin did great, considering this is a deep blue state. Kathy Hochul had help from every Democrat, crooked, Bullshit. Bill, Obama, Bullshit. Kamala. Everybody came in to save her. I, There's just not. You want me to talk about this real Joe quick Biden, too, in New York? That there no, is, no, I just want to finish this clip. Okay, finish yeah, the clip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For Barack Obama and for the Clintons. There's not a hate Biden vote that's out there. You know, when you go with Trump's on the ballot, there's that hate Trump Democrat vote. The, people just don't feel the same passion Dark against branded. the guy that they also Maybe feel he's just for a other really people. Nice guy. And we have a problem <laughs> demographically. Single women are voting for Democrats by 30 points. This was my favorite. I wonder why. It's such a mystery. Why are single women voting for Democrats? We can't figure this one out. It's just such so crazy to see that. Well, he's 37. Got a, he's got 37 solution. points. Yeah. And in urban America, they're cleaning our clocks in the cities. Cleaning our clocks. I'm not saying anything nefarious is going on, but they are cleaning our clocks in the cities. And we're giving it away. And the fact that these youth voters are coming in so strong on an off year Love is that. very concerning. It looks like they've been brainwashed. We need to send them to war. Yeah, something. they've been brainwashed. No, dumbass. <laughs> uh, like, there's two reasons, okay? There's two primary reasons why the youth are voting in the way that they did. Ease of access to fucking voting in the form of mail-in ballots and also abortion. Like, obviously, they give a shit about this. You literally also undermine an entire generation. When you tell an entire generation of people that they do not have the civil liberties that their fucking grandparents had, they're going to come out and vote. That's not brainwashing. You did that. Also, I think that young people aren't buying into this whole like trans scare because they know they're, they're yeah, so because, much more because, uh, familiar with these issues. Yes. They know them. It, this whole trans they thing have is fucking stupid. They have classmates that are trans. Yeah. They have uh, yeah. classmates that are queer. Like it, it, it's not it's not the same panic for them. Um, my friend uh, Osita, who I had on yesterday, uh, brought up a was it Osita who brought this up? Regardless, someone I was talking to brought this point up where they uh, where they said like a lot of the anxiety of the Republican Party and the and the anger that the Republican Party presents as like political uh, policy positions is actually grievance towards Gen Z. It's actually grievance towards the upcoming generation. So mm -hmm. if your entire fucking worldview revolves around like trying to captivate the older voters, which Republicans yeah. voted, yeah. 65 plus, mm -hmm. voted by 45 percentage points for the Republicans, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. 65 year old and plus, 45 percent, uh, uh, plus 45 points. Like if that's your goal, then um, if you go too far and you activate the youth, they're going to fucking come out. They're going to come out and vote. I love to see it, man. That's what we need. We need we need the young people getting involved, and they are, and I love to see it. By the way, speaking of what you said about Fetterman, we typed into an AI generator, full portrait photo of a Pennsylvania union member wearing gym shorts and a sweatshirt. <laughs> it looks more like Tom Segura, to be frank. But, it does uh, kind of look like Tom, doesn't it? It, it is there. I mean, it's close enough to Close Fetterman, enough. Though. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. I love how the AI is like, this dude's bald. That's all I know for sure. Yeah. Gosh, this new generation is totally brainwashed because a lot of these single women are vote 37 spreads for Democrats are teaching all of our younger generation in the schools <laughs> and they're polluting their minds and then they grow up and then they're in their 20s and then they vote for leftists. That's oh, awesome. The best part was cut out. He goes, you know what we need to do about these single women? We got to get them married. Yeah. No, that's great. Love that. Great, brilliant, insightful political analysis. Also, ironic, like, shitting on women in this way definitely is the best way to win them over. Well, they I don't think. know why single women are not supporting them. Yeah, because there is, so like, mysterious. hours we and hours think. and hours of commentary that I have seen personally of them literally shitting on ugly single women in cities blue hair. with blue hair that have cats unfuckable they literally routinely talk about <laughs> cat ladies it's like bro you are the most unfuckable person on Tucker the planet says that shit unfuckable like, blue greg, haired women greg gutfeld and jesse waters are in a permanent olympics to be the most cringe unfuckable pathetic losers on television okay mm -hmm. it's a weird lineup because there's plenty of them on fox news and these guys are olympic medal winning unfuckable goobers and yet they are talking about, uh, they're talking about women in this way. It's not like, that's why they, these people have so much disdain for you. This is one of my, uh, 
favorite coping clips. This is Roger Stone and and Alex Jones. What a lineup! Uh, they they have a moment of self realization here. It's almost like a self aware wolf. You know that subreddit. It's like yeah. I think we fucked up. I think we went fucked up. And they're like, oh shit, we convinced everyone the election's rigged. That's why no one voted. Done. And and people need to stop stop just counting on somebody else to do it. Uh, I actually think, unfortunately, uh, the results last night uh, add to a growing frustration. What disappoints me is the number of people who tell me that after the last election, they just tuned out anything political and stopped paying attention. Damn. I mean, their attitude is, it's broken, it cannot be fixed. Uh, I think that's what you've been telling them. Yeah. We fucked up. We might have fucked up. Yeah, it almost feels like... Yeah, it almost feels like making, like, basing your entire political mobilization around, like, not mobilizing for politics or not mobilizing for the elections is uh, not a winning mechanism. Uh oh. Not a winning uh, uh, policy. It's weird. We're all trying to find the guy who did this. <laughs> Have you not seen this show? I have. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Of course. Uh, and hope that they're not letting boys play girls' sports and vice versa. Right, 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 so, right, right. That's uh, it. That's right. That's it. Boys play, play, play girl, girl sports. Boys playing girl sports is not a winning strategy, but they <laughs> don't know that. They're so fucking turf brained, they cannot comprehend it. It is literally beyond the scope of reason for them to think like maybe we should just leave trans people alone. Maybe we I think just they, leave trans I think they alone. see the reaction and they like it, and they're fundraising and they're selling products, and all these hateful bigots are coming in. But it's not a real reflection of what's happening on the no. on the ground. So they, I think they're getting like negative feedback. No, loop they're, there. They're like trans people in mainstream media uh, used to get a lot of coverage that was, I wouldn't say positive, but like a lot of defensive coverage. Mm -hmm. At the time when everyone was like woke, like oh this is woke, oh we we need to be more woke, right? This was like the 2015 era. So they really pumped up that coverage. They were like, "Oh, you're being transphobic. You're canceled." Blah blah blah. Right? That was like a that was like a popping thing, all the way from like 2015 till I would say, uh, you know, it, it started it started evening out a little bit. Now we've gotten to a point where like these guys are constantly talking about everything being anti woke. They're constantly like, "I want to make sure that, that you know my yo plays doesn't have gender." Oh, gender neutral pronouns on my yogurt when I go to the mm -hmm. store, like whatever. And Mr. Are, Potato Head. People got exhausted by, and I'm not saying there's a moral equivalence here, but people got exhausted by uh, the the woke stuff, right? I guess like the Normans got exhausted by the woke stuff, and now they are understandably, and for a very long time now, exhausted by the anti woke backlash. They don't want to hear it. They don't give a shit. Um, there was a twenty. Uh, there was a 2021 YouGov study that I saw being shared all around the internet uh, yes, uh, yesterday. Uh, it's a really funny study. Uh, they polled people. They were like, are you woke or are you not woke, right? And I think it was like 13% said, yes, I consider myself woke. 23% woke. said, no, I don't consider myself woke. And then like 60% was like, I don't know what that Such means, and question. I don't care. It's so dumb. And that is how people are. They're like, what do you, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, what do you, what is this fucking trans children are, are, are pissing in fucking uh, uh, litter boxes shit? Like, talk to me about the fucking gas prices. Yeah, well, that's great. What are you going to do about it? I, I was afraid it was going to work for them, but again, that's just why I'm feeling so encouraged by the results here. It's nice to see. From this, folks. They're going to destroy us. You can no longer stick your damn head in the gun. And so there's that. That one was really good. Um, here's one of... I don't know what the fuck this show is, but something tells me it's got to be really popular based on how ghetto it looks. Oh, dude. No, it definitely isn't. No shot. This is when you're going to like these strange apps to find... like. Uh, this is like the 1488 uh, truth teller uh, uh, guy talking to, it's, you know, American neo, washed up American neo-Nazi. Well, it says conservative daily, your daily dose of sanity. So I don't know. This is giving me no, high you, budget. You watch this shit. This look, one, if your this parents are watching stuff. this shit, they're, they're lost. They're lost in the sauce. This is exactly the kind of shit that is like, I think, triggering to the suburban moms and dads who are like, I'm kind of conservative. I would look the other way if homeless people were getting shot, but also at the same time, like, you know, don't do it in front of me. 
Yeah, I don't want to see that. So here, let's see what uh, Conservative Daily, this the Daily Dose of Sanity, has to say about it. I'm still beside myself as I'm sitting here looking at all the things that we're dealing with, and I'm I'm saying to myself, <coughs> how? How? The blood the blood moon foretold. <laughs> how could this happen? I'm, I'm, I have to I have to look at this and go. Carrie Lake is down by 13 percent. With 70% of Maricopa record, reporting. Uh-huh. Told you, they can't let her be governor. Uh, I She'll mean, investigate. They l- can't let listen, her Yeah, these guys are crazy. We, we can They're see the fraud. We can see the fraud in the machines, Draza. We can see it. We can see it. Yes, mail-in ballots. Yes, 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 yes. The Eric system shares all these people and the fraud of stealing people's identities and putting yes. that in and, and, and front loading the machines yes. with the SQL database, which I said you could do. It showed it in Mesa County. You run the database right next to the thing. Yes. I'm still go, go off, King. Whatever I the mean, fuck. You sound man. like a the, psychopath, brother. No, it's the daily dose of sanity. And if you Peter. make that your national campaign, you're going to fucking lose because <laughs> people are going to be like, that's gross. You're gross. You're crazy. I don't want to be associated with that. Well, Elon Musk, the kingmaker, uh, uh, he said, I voted for Myra Flores. First time I ever voted Republican. Massive red wave coming, unfortunately. Uh, the kingmaker, uh, he just didn't pull through for Myra. Myra Flores says, the red wave did not happen. Republicans and independents stayed home. Do not complain about the results if you do not do your part. Love that. Chef's kiss. That is some Democrat ass shit right there. Right. I, this is my favorite Boat part. Harder. This is my favorite part of like the liberalization of American politics. Like everyone turns into a liberal in a long enough timeline. And that person, straight up, that's a Democrat. Did you did a fucking Democratic Party operative write that tweet for you? That is the <laughs> most like Hillary Clinton-esque. Yeah. Let's not look within. Let's not fucking figure out how to win these goddamn campaigns. And let's just the bully fault. our base of yeah, support. No, nah, that's perfect. Love that, dude. Keep it up. Keep it up. Y'all didn't go to the polls. Yeah. You didn't vote hard enough? It wasn't enough? my fault for not that voting. That is not a winning strategy. Now, the difference between Democrats and Republicans is that, like, uh, at the top level, Republicans do uh, understand how to create winning strategies. Democrats don't give a shit about winning. Republicans do. So they will definitely, I think, tailor their campaign as best as they can outside of Donald Trump now. <laughs> this was my ultimate favorite. I saved it for last. Steven Crowder puts forth an incredible kind of uh, philosophical question. Uh, what if we did not do peaceful transfers of can you, power? Can you match this up with Steven Crowder's uh, tweet that I had retweeted talking about the night of the red wave before it happened? Uh, I remember Steven Crowder Hold saying... That. I remember him saying... <laughs> What cities are the Democrats going to burn to the ground when they realize the red wave is coming? Oh, that's interesting because he's the one here suggesting maybe we should have a civil war every two years. That's that's really strange. Let's watch the Stephen Crowder tweet first. Here, here's then, this, just to No, no, no. Let's let's hear let, let's hear what he had to say. Oh, okay. Once Democrats lose, which city will have riots first? Mm. Red wave. Okay, so that is interesting. Well, let's hear Stephen Crowder's. Take uh, just so you know, we didn't always pull off a peaceful transfer of power. You talked about us. We actually, as a nation, uh, became a nation because we pulled off the completely unpeaceful transformation of power. Yes, yes, yes. The, I'm a big, you, you no longer have power over us. Trans- right. That's not true, by the way. There was no. It wasn't a transfer of power. It was like just a war. Yeah. I mean, they weren't trying. That's just what he king. wants. That's what king. he wants, though. That's what he wants. But yeah, he, I love this idea. He's like a revolutionary war, <laughs> brother. Every two years, baby. <laughs> if we lose, it's war. Listen, man. If 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 your gimp suit wearing ass wasn't sucking up to the queen so fucking hard when she died, maybe I'd listen to your words about the Revolutionary War, okay? Yeah. You dumb motherfuckers. They're, they're just such simps for power. Whoever the fuck is in an authoritarian position, whoever, like, triggers the libs, shut the fuck up. You have no consistency, bitch. All right, let me play it. Let me just watch this. Yes, okay. exactly. The King of England. Mm-hmm. We were just like, yeah, hey, how about, yeah, hey, suck this transfer of power, huh? Oh, there goes your tea. So sorry. <laughs> sorry about your tetleys. You're so but what? funny, That doesn't bro. make I'm any dying. sense. I'm huh? dying. It's not funny, bro. There is no transfer of power in a monarchy. That's, That's the point. That's what I'm saying. There yeah. was no transfer of power. It was just a... It was just a it was just a war. The war in part was so let, that let we him, could start cook, transferring power. I want to hear what he has to say. Let's see. The transfer of power started with George Washington. He was the first. There was, yeah. He's pull off a peaceful transfer of power. You talk transfer. I bet you're a patriot, bitch. You don't even know your fucking American history, you fraud. 
of power, huh? Oh, there goes your tea. So sorry. <laughs> sorry about your tetleys. Oh. Well, and then, like you said, that whole north versus south end of slavery thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That whole peaceful. Yeah, that, Whose that, side that... would you be on, dickhead? But also no, not a but... transfer of power. That yeah. was had nothing to do with the transfer yeah, of power. Yeah, first of all, first of all, motherfucker, like, your entire fan base is on the other side. Yeah. Okay, yeah, what yeah. the fuck? You're the one who's like, we must keep up the statue of General Lee. Yeah. Robert E. Lee's an American hero. That's so... God damn, these people are so fucking brazenly dumb. Robert E. Lee is an American hero. Anyone who vandalizes or attempts to move this statue will have to face me. I carry a tiki torch, and I believe in free uh, slavery. I mean, I believe in... No, his heritage not hate, brother, but it's also... It's heritage. But also, you know, that's what happened. So what's up? You want the fucking they them army of the fucking federal government to come and raise this out this time, unlike they did last time? You know what I mean? Is that what you want, bitch? Shut the fuck up. But again, not a transfer of power. It was yeah. literally they're trying to secede from the nation. That's not federal a government uh, operating the not activating the national trans guard <laughs> to yeah. just murk and and jail every conservative. Let's go, baby. Right, Finally, exactly. that great peaceful transfer of He'll power. Cannons at each other from 18 feet away. Peaceful exchange. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not a transfer Still of power. Missed. So, again, peaceful transfer, and I'm not suggesting any kind of violent upheaval over the election. That's not what I'm Obviously, suggesting. But you, the idea you, that the peaceful transfer of power is inherently our most valued tradition, it's not. Bro. Listen, you know, this no so disrespect not... to people that have carpal tunnel, but, like, <laughs> if you got carpal tunnel, you can't be talking about peaceful transfer of power as though, like, you know, you're going to go do a violent insurrection. He has carpal tunnel? I mean, he's got a fucking... What, what does he got? He's got a brace. He's got, like, a fucking wrist brace. <clears throat> From what? I know your ass you, ain't working. You, you're you're, you're saying... not a fucking blacksmith. You don't use that hand. You're just... Like, are, are you suggesting he would not make a good soldier? No, he wouldn't. Mm. But he's got straps. Also, he's got a terrible he's got terrible heart, you know. He would he would die <clears throat> right, immediately. Right. Yeah, he would draft the he would dodge the draft so fast. Oh, for sure, cuz you know. I got a gun, but I got heart problems. Going to hide over here. Our our original tradition is rebellion, is violent rebellion. That's why you have the second amendment. You may not like it. Bro got carpal tunnel from our country, clicking like Canada. <laughs> With a mouse, you know, it's crazy. Unlike uh, not only the countries, you know, in the UK, but also their colonies, by the way. They have a slavery basis with a lot of these countries. <laughs> Ours is fighting off the world's greatest superpower to become the world's greatest superpower of the next century. Never been done before or since. It's never happened. <laughs> and also preserving slavery, tradition. too. Yeah. That was... That other war was quite literally about, you know, the preservation of slavery. But, 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 but actually, so what is your point? You say, you say, okay, well, uh, we, he's just saying, well, violent insurrection, like yeah, we could do like, it. It's that that's dope. He's like, listen, I'm not saying violent insurrection, but what I am saying is like theoretically, it's kind of dope. I don't know if you remember this, but uh, <laughs> they did try that a little bit, and it was like pretty lame, and they got fucking owned. And you actually, if I remember correctly said any candidate that doesn't run on abolishing the FBI will not get my vote? Yeah, <laughs> right. You remember right, that? Because right. yeah, I remember. Yeah, I do, I do remember, remember when Stephen that. Crowder said literally those yeah. words? Why? Because the FBI was investigating Donald Trump mm -hmm. not returning classified documents. Right. Yeah, I I'm, wonder I'm if Stephen Crowder still <clears throat> urged people to go out and vote for Republicans <clears throat> who didn't abolish the FBI. Wait, have you heard there's Crowder news? People are trying to get him in trouble because he said some... Have you seen that? Dan? Oh, yeah, the George Zimmerman one. I because did. Every, well, the thing is like, oh, uh, all the conservatives are trying to get ETH... Or did get me and trying. And um, apparently... He, uh, Crowder had a heated yeah, gamer Yeah, he said, moment. where's George Zimmerman when yeah, you need uh, we, him? Uh, in reference to John Fetterman uh, wearing a hoodie and his family wearing a hoodie, he was like, huh, what a fucking loser. Like, his entire family's wearing a hoodie. And then said, where's George Zimmerman when you need him? Yeah. Uh, so, basically openly admitting that, like, it's George Zimmerman's uh, murder of Trayvon Martin was unjustifiable, but made him feel good. He's but also suggesting that so much murder his whole family. Yeah. yeah. So it, we were just talking about it in our crew chat a second ago and after screening it i don't know if we could even show it yeah i don't because he didn't show, show he, he didn't do it on youtube he did, he did it on his rumble bullshit oh yeah i don't yeah. i think oh, it's like strike territory rumble. if we yeah. were to show it oh so so of course he's not going to get in trouble with youtube then yeah right yeah
Yeah, he didn't yeah, do no, it on the platform. I don't, platform. I don't even think he can go live on YouTube anymore, can he? I feel like he's gotten so many fucking strikes. I doubt that he can go live. <laughs> well, they they wear oh, off oh. eventually. Yeah, no, he he's up on YouTube. He's up and running. Let me see. Louder with Crowder. Yeah, he's on YouTube. No, but going live is different. Don't you need you, like? I th no, I don't, I don't think. So. Let's see. I mean, he up. Oh, he up, what? Wait, what? What? He, he has it. So he streamed two weeks ago. And he, uh, he's kind of MIA on YouTube right now. So fucking stupid, bro. Look at this. Um, I, last video uploaded was one month ago. Yeah, I think, he, I think he's just like pumping ago. his clip channel right now. Oh, he has a clip channel? Or whatever. I don't know. Let's move on from uh, from this, though. Really? You don't want to... You want to... Crowder what? Bits? Yeah, Crowder Bits is where he uploads a lot of his shit, also. I think, now. It's more active. 12 days. Bro, bro, never mind. Didn't have to think about it, dude. He bailed, bro. Pay attention He's out on Rumble said, talking about killing a Fetterman's family. So, okay, that's a good place for that. So, that's that. Um, yeah, that's, I mean, that's basically... That's basically it. I mean, is there anything else you want to talk about? I skipped some stuff because I was afraid we didn't have time for it. Yeah. But, um... um we can talk about Ron DeSantis real quick. <clears throat> Love to. Um, Ron DeSantis won big in Florida in the previous election. He literally almost lost to Andrew Gillum, who was like, you know, a handpicked candidate by the Democratic Party. Andrew Gillum is also uh, a black Democrat, which is important for Florida a little bit, right? Um, he barely defeated Andrew Gillum uh, last time around by like 0.3% uh, of the vote. And uh, this time around, the gigantic advantage that you have over Charlie Crist is hard not to recognize. Oh. <clears throat> Sorry, I just, I, he is suspended currently. Yeah. How is he, dude, this guy gets like a strike every month, more than me. Yeah, yeah. it's horrific, bro. I, I totally missed this. I didn't even know this happened. Yeah, I, I remember him saying this. Steven yeah. Crowder called Kamala Harris, uh, I don't even want to say it, but a genetically. Generically. Gen oh, wow, generically ethnic. I didn't even say because I don't, you know what I mean, but... Steven Crowder is it. interesting because, like, when he gets racist with it, he, like, skips three generations. You know what I mean? <laughs> he goes oh, way yeah. back. He, like, <laughs> he talks about racist shit in a way that, like, you haven't really heard in a while. Like, <clears throat> like 85-year-olds are like, damn, that's, that's some old school racism. That's like rocking chair racism. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very, very weird. Oh, this was a good clip. Yeah, Here, this, play this, this while reminded I go pee. me how I much I uh, I miss Trump and how excited I am for him. This to, is the best clip. The war with DeSantis here. Yeah. You've endorsed more than 330 candidates this yeah. election cycle. Uh, tonight, win or lose, the results for Republicans, um, how much of that will be because of Donald Trump? Well, I think if they win, I should get all the credit. And if they lose, I should not be blamed at all, okay? But it'll probably be just the opposite. Uh, when they win, I think they're going to do very well. I'll probably be given very little credit, even though in many cases I told people to run. And they ran, and they turned out to be very good candidates. You know, they've turned He's out to the be best very to good ever candidates. do it, man. He, he, I'm sorry. I was like, bro, this is so good. I miss Trump. <laughs> Listen, if they win, I get all the credit. If they lose, I get no credit. That's how it works, I get people. no blame. No blame. <laughs> but it's political bullshit. People are just like, yeah, yeah. Vibes. <laughs> I hate how funny he is. I've said it a million times, but he's so effortlessly funny. Like, even Troll. when he's not trying to be funny, he's so fucking funny. I mean, he's a piece of shit and I hate him, but he is funny. It's funny. This was super interesting. If you go to our <laughs> conservative... You'll see the subreddit and full blown Trump mutiny. And this is so fascinating because these are Trump blowhards. I mean, since the Donald got banned, <laughs> die, they, diehards or blowhards? Well, I guess both. I don't know. They're yeah, both. both. Yeah, they're both. So here's actually huge. These are super popular posts on our conservative 1300 points. Choosing Trump over DeSantis, DeSantis for 2024 is political suicide. 1300 points. Trump, yeah. Trump only cares about Trump. Let's move past him and let DeSantis have his turn in the spotlight. I love that. Now they're like, <laughs> Trump only cares about Trump. <laughs> you red don't say. Wave, uh, you don't say. A red wave turned into a purple puddle thanks to an orange man. I love that now they're orange man bad. That's the they best. made fun of libs like so hard. Orange man bad, but you just orange man beaded. DeSantis is the new Republican Party leader. Fox News wrote that. These are all top posts on our conservative. Yeah, they're mad. They are understandably very upset with Donald Trump. 
because uh, Donald Trump's candidates that were handpicked were uh, self, they were centered around Trump's narcissistic desires. One of uh, the most important one being that the election was stolen from him somehow. And uh, if you if you do that, then people are going to be like, well, that's not you're not really you know, you're not really giving me something, especially Republicans. They're used to voting for people that give them something. And um, that something is carefully crafted messaging that over years and years and uh, over white supremacist systems has been, uh, you know, the uh, the perceived enemy. Right. Like uh, immigrants, uh, black people, brown people, uh, homeless people. That is uh, LGBT people like those are the perceived enemies of the Republican voter base. Right. Um, <clears throat> you can't really swing that to petty Donald Trump style, petty Donald Trump grievances, especially if Donald Trump is not on the ballot. Yeah, these comments are pretty great. I like MAGA message, but now I'm having trouble with the MAGA messenger. Ooh, oh, Trump needs to go. This is all on conservative. This was pure blasphemy only recently ago. This they'd probably ban you. And I'm not, not only on our conservative, but these are uh, flagged users, which our conservative surprise surprise is like the most heavily moderated subreddit on Reddit. Mm -hmm. They ban everybody like instantly if you're not a conservative and they verify users with those little tags. So you can see that these are the real, these aren't trolls. Oh, yeah. These are like actual Th conservatives. This is my favorite one. He goes, President Trump is claiming to have dirt on DeSantis and threatened to air his laundry if he bids for the White House. So it's like he's doing CNN and MSN NBC's work for them. Oh yeah, baby. I Dumb. can't wait. Here's the reality. If Trump is on the ballot, we're talking about a drastically different uh, kind of math, okay? A lot of those DeSantis supporters will go for Trump. It's going to be a bloodbath. He'll win, and he'll destroy DeSantis. Um, I think awesome. he has the capability, for sure. Yeah. Well, that's about it, Hassan. I know you've got to uh, Oh yeah. You got to get going. Yep. But um, thank you for being here. I had a lot of fun, and hopefully this one won't get taken down. I don't see why. <laughs> I think we're good. Yeah. I think Who we're knows, good. man? Who knows? With you, you're the most banned man in America. I know. <laughs> All right. Well, I accept that title. Not as banned as Crowder, though. Evidently, I'm not posting on Rumble you don't have yet. To think about it, dude. And one more time, him, uh, ideology himbo. No, ideology shop. <laughs> I D E L O G I E ideology. Just try and get that URL though. Write it in the fucking. Oh, no, shit. not that. God damn it. I E instead of a Y. It's okay. Um, you can get the Himbo Fitness uh, merch that's the, gonna that's oh, plated to end soon. Nope, that's wrong. Here, here, it's here, okay. Here, here, here. Don't yeah. worry about it. All right, you got it. I'll put yeah. it in. That, I'll put a link in the description. How about that? that Jack, I, beautiful I got mine. Himbo. I'll rock mine tomorrow. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, yeah brother. I, I want some too. Come, I didn't even get one yet, bro. I'll, I'll talk to my merch. I want that union made shit, dude. Hell yeah. It's different. It's very comfy. I'll tell you that much. It's very cozy. I've heard zero complaints. Black sale, a uh, Black Friday sale, Teddy Fresh, up to 70% off. Go fucking check it out. We'll be here tomorrow for After Dark. It's going to be fun. I'm about to get my hair done. Uh, so stay tuned for that. I'm excited to see it's that. It's going to be pretty crazy. And, um, well, thanks, Hassan. Uh, it was fun. Nice to see you. And uh, we'll be back uh, next week. So, anyway, and so then I said... Yeah.